Hello everyone on the Sina Soul, and this video is going to be a full playthrough of my empire here, the Whispers Coven. So, the main idea behind this empire here is that I am going to try to go all out on cloaking. I've done cloaking a few times in the past in this game, and really I've been disappointed each time. So this time, I'm just going to dedicate the whole run to cloaking and see exactly what it can do. Of course, we have these people who are intelligent natural physicists to rush down cloaking. We have criminal heritage to increase our cloaking skill by one. And we have the teachers of the shroud, which will hopefully get us that juicy covenant with the whisperers. And of course, the whisperers is what this empire is all about. This empire started out as a normal little developing species here but unfortunately or fortunately depending how you look at it the teachers of the shroud had a breakoff group that were only dedicated to the creatures in the void known as the whispers and they taught this little civilization everything that needed to know to overthrow its current rule and set up one big cult one big coven for the whispers and while the teachers of the shroud didn't approve of this breakoff groups actions in the first place they have since taken in the whispers coven as uh, their humble students whether it was due to guilt for not stopping the breakoff group from actually converting them or respect for their latent psionic and uh, dedication to the cause so yeah we have a subversive cult corporation we have criminal heritage and gospel of the masses of course we also have fanatic xenophile and spiritualist so both of these, these things will help us. Um, the infiltration speed from Criminal Heritage plus the cloaking strength and code breaking will all be very, very good. And we plan to have a bunch of spies infiltrating other empires as we need to know where and when they're building uh, detection arrays for our cloaked ships. So we need to we need to have full vision on a lot of empires to make sure that we can we can rule the galaxy as a Whispers Coven. We're gonna we're gonna try to get as far as we can. Of course, fanatic xenophile is gonna help this. We're gonna have plus two envoys available to spy on people, and of course, we're gonna also have plus twenty percent trade value, which our people are also thrifty. So, we're probably gonna go a good amount into trade as well. Trade and research, if I had to guess, that is what our people are good at after all. So, yeah, that's the whispers coven. Hopefully, we can make a covenant with the whispers and go all in on stealth. And make that mechanic useful, as it uh, hasn't been too useful for me in the past. So here are the settings for our playthrough. We are going to have a medium starburst galaxy with a few more AI empires. But other than that, we're going to have some pretty standard stuff. Crisis strength is going to be one times random crisis. And all of the years are going to be around 25 years early. Nothing crazy. And uh, Iron Man mode is going to be on. So yeah, that's about it. We're going to try cloaking on a standard kind of kind of Stellaris run. We don't want to game it so that we're you know, too crazy. Um, myths of our forebears speak of teachers. Now our teachers have reached out once again, seeding our dreams with eldritch visions. Of course, eldritch visions such as the whispers. Oh, look. We have shrouded worlds in our system. I didn't know that. Um, students, in dreams we have guided you through visions we have shaped your world. You sure have. You have shaped our entire empire. And we will receive your gift with gratitude. So, yeah. I didn't know... I, I guess I forgot that we started out with Shrouded Worlds. That's kind of a cool touch. I like Shrouded Worlds. So let's see our empire capital here. 19 size. Not too great. Not too bad. Um, temple, research lab, commercial zones. Pretty standard stuff. We have zero jobs, so we're going to have to... We're going to have to hurry up on that. Let's uh, immediately build a science ship as well. We have a 14 size ocean world. Oh my goodness. Wow, it actually it actually could not be much worse. 14 size world. Okay. Well, hopefully we find a better world. We have a bunch of black holes around here. Four black holes. Hmm. Then we have... Where's our shroud tunnel? Not there here so here is our shroud tunnel in alasia yeah i guess that does bring us across the galaxy a little bit we have kind of have a weird setup here where we're just kind of in this corner which could be good could be bad we plan on taking a lot of vassals in this run so kind of being in a more central location would have been better but 
Yeah, I'm not going to restart or anything. We'll, we'll take our 14 size ocean world and do what we can with it. Hopefully we'll find a bigger ocean world and some more worlds <laughs> soon enough. So we have immediately found a materialist fallen empire. So Lam Lambda Ser Serpentis. Interesting. I don't think I've seen that name before. It's like a serpent. These guys really are the devil, huh? <laughs> yeah, fanatic materialist fallen empire. So those are definitely going to be our rivals eventually. Yeah, you walk the Paris path of heresy, of course. Very close to us, in fact, which is kind of good, kind of bad. If we can't build up enough strength to defeat them, then it'll be bad. But if we can build up enough strength to uh, strike them before they awaken, which is when they gain their true strength. Awakened empires are very, very scary. But if we can beat them before then, then they're close enough that we can actually take their systems and have it benefit us. So that's good. I guess, but uh, very scary also. Fanatic materialist. We absolutely cannot get along with these people. We have seen civilizations destroy themselves over and over by delving into matters they do not know. Hmm. Okay, so here's our world. 14 size... Maybe a good farm world? I, I don't... I don't know, honestly. Uh, is our other science ship done? It is. Okay. Let's try our best to uh, find something better here. In fact, let's just let's just explore. There has to be better. In fact, let's let's go here first. It might be there. Okay, so this black hole is no, nope, it's definitely not there. Man, we just don't have many any world options, do we? System um, survey complete. We're gonna have an unemployed pop here soon. Yeah, soon. So. I guess we'll go... Yeah, we gotta go into research. We gotta make sure that we get that cloaking tech. Of course, it's pretty much all luck whether we get the cloaking tech or not, so... Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like our whole run depends on it and uh, it's all luck. But, you know, it'd be like that. Um, I think we're gonna go discovery first. Not only for the research speed boost, but also just to maybe help us find some useful Space systems. Oh, that's not going to be a useful system. 2,000, okay. Looked like those were mining droids, so... Ready. No, don't go all the way around. Just, uh, just go explore over here. Don't go all the way around. Okay, you've figured out this. Please tell us where our other habitable world is. <laughs> we need it desperately. Of course, we're always going to go with Expand the Council. You never don't go with Expand the Council. Yep, we have an unemployed pop before the research lab could even finish, unfortunately. Probably going to build another one as well. Well, we also need consumer goods. Situation log updated. Probably going to need consumer goods factories. Okay, we have found... Oh my god. Another 14 size ocean world. Oh, you gotta be kidding. 14 size? Isn't that like... Is that not, like, the lowest that it can possibly go? Oh, my goodness. Space Please, help us encountered. find some other worlds. Okay, 19 size, but it's guarded by mining droids. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Um, eye for talent. It's just really bad, because uh, as a corporate empire, we need to kind of make the most out of our worlds. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, right here. So... Uh, Empire size from planets, plus fifty percent, and uh, we are not going to be making the use, the best use out of these planets. I, I can, I can already tell. And we're blocked off, man. This is, uh, this is quite the start here. Oh, this is great wound actually. Wow. Okay. Um, you know, we might have to go void born or something. I, I genuinely don't know. What to do? What to do in this scenario? I mean, maybe we're blocked off completely, which could give us some time to develop. We could maybe even cloak fleets and go through these systems, and then uh, attack. But we might also be blocked off by the fallen. I might, I might have to genuinely restart if we're uh, if we're as screwed as I think we are here. Because if this doesn't connect, I mean, I I think it does, but jeez. Yeah, I guess build this. Okay, we have surveyed the world, and it's it's absolutely useless resource-wise. So I guess we're gonna have to do a little 
little, uh, okay, survey speed, sure. A little, uh, industrial action here, man. This is, found. this is just unfortunate. <laughs> Let's see our leaders. Spark of Genius. Let's do Prudence. And this is a governor. I guess we'll do Eye for Talent. Just keep that leader experience gain up. Complete. Okay, well, I guess let's colonize this useless world. Um, yeah. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, okay. I was going to say, did I just like... We'll probably rename that world. But uh, that's what it's going to be named for now. Yeah, just stop surveying. Honestly, we just need you to explore. We, we need to know what's up. System survey you, you can work on surveying things. Like that, and this, and eventually this. Um, no, just leave it be for now. Situation log updated. Okay, here- oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? I thought my worlds were bad. 12? Size 12 and size 11. What are these worlds? And does this cannot connect? Oh, okay, okay, this- this down here connects. Okay, I was gonna say. Okay, 22 size world, finally. Finally, a world that is useful. Thank God. I was just thinking, wait. Evading heretics. Okay, this is, wait. Wait, a hostile empire? That's stuck in this corner? Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. Seems they are toxoid. Hmm. We've got a hostile empire that's stuck in this corner, basically. Okay. That's a threat, but also an opportunity. But they're gonna have this world, huh? Our only good world. Yeah, we might have to rush down some military expansion in the early game. We need to okay, never mind. Don't survey this. We need to we need to go over here and claim these systems. Make sure that these guys do not escape their their prison. Yeah, you need to survey this. You need to survey that. And we need this guy over here, ASAP. Spaceborn creature encountered. Um a small fleet of jury rigged ships are hailing us. Okay. They look avian. Um, what do you want? This probe is ours, salvage. Okay, we'll, we'll... Wait, what happened? Our scientists, what the hell? We are spreading our faith to a Wait, new world. Wait, is a colony here? This is, this is very confusing. A great day for the Whisperers Coven, I suppose. Um... Is there actually, like, a 500 fleet here somewhere? Let's let's go in and check it out. Where did that come from then? The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Um, let's do economy. Or we could do research speed. Let's see here. What's going on in this system? Yeah, nothing nothing bad. Where's our scientist? Go back. Oh, the probe gave us the info we needed. You know what? I'm just gonna waste the influence and uh, the spirits have granted us new wisdom. And just go for the, the go for the immediate claim here. New wisdom. If we could get this system and then build up that star base, we are we are in a good spot to absolutely handicap whatever hostile empire is here. Um, I guess we'll do this. Yeah, sure. Grimessa. Yeah. This is. Oh, okay. A science ship. Well, we have our army here. We have our navy. We have to. Uh, we have to definitely increase the size. Definitely. But for now, we're gonna we're gonna go scare away their science ship. Evading heretics. Oh no, we're not. Oh. Oh my God. They have their fleet there. Okay, we're gonna jump in, and we're gonna immediately jump out. <gasps> their science ship's not even running. Holy, okay. Um, wait, oh no, this is this is really bad. Hold on. 
We are we are in a full first contact war right we now. Have encountered more children of creation. Uh Heretic fleet engaged. Uh oh. Well that's definitely not good. Spaceport. And these guys are These guys are not messing around. <laughs> uh Are we still building ships? Wait, why were we not ever building ships? What? Huh. Welp. Not good. Not good at all. Let's do... I mean, I guess we can do this. No, we can't even do that. Yeah. No, just... Just run away. For now. Hmm. I don't know what we can really do here. Construction complete. Let's see. We have 300. Let's Our ships upgrade have been them improved. as well. Yeah, hmm. A scientist. Yeah, I think we already knew that they were a threat. <laughs> well, this is pretty good. We got the monstrous noises thing, which means we can overreact and prepare for war. Of course, we're not overreacting at all as uh, they've kind of already declared war on us. So, yeah, we are just currently trying to build up our fleet to the best of our ability right now. I guess we could also just buy alloys. In fact, yeah, we are gonna do that. We are just gonna buy as many alloys as we can and uh, spend them all on our fleets. Oh, they have a star base here as well. That is not good. Oh, man. They're kind of kicking our butt. Kind of kicking our butt. Unfortunately. But uh, our fleet is now stronger than theirs. Wish our admiral didn't start out with this stupid careful trait. Um, we can do that. Okay, we have 17. I guess we just should spend the rest of our money on alloys. There's no there's no reason not to. It's very important that we that we get these get these ships built. Look at these guys. No, we're gonna we're gonna have to put a stop to that. Okay, we have a full twenty fleet here. Wisdom. We we are we're lacking twenty seven to do that. Okay. Um, I guess shields. Wait, no, we're we're not we're gonna really use shields in this empire. Well, we're gonna use we're gonna use shields sometimes, but uh, shields are not very important as as soon as you cloak, you lose your shields. So, the spirits have granted armor us is probably wisdom. gonna have to be our best bet here. Um, speaking of armor, I guess we could, well, we should probably go with coil guns first. Or no, because in this playthrough we'll probably use lasers, because we're really good at physics and uh, we're not going to be researching shields too much, so yeah, definitely armor we'll go for. Plague Baron Devourers. Oh, they are fanatic purifiers. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, let's, uh, oh, they're... Have they already colonized the world? Okay, we might we might just need to go to war immediately. The crusade of the righteous begins. Yeah. We 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 need we, we need to we need to cut this off here. Yeah. Declare rivalry as well. Uh we do not care <laughs> if galactic rot considers us rivals. Alright. I mean Okay. Well, why don't you uh why don't you start caring when we do this? How's that sound? Engaged. Max mining districts. Oh the wait, we could, have granted us we could new uh, wisdom. Maybe turn that into a mining world perhaps. Um probably that. And then probably go down supremacist. Supremacy. Council Sorry, I always call available. it supremacist. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can do this, and then... Will they surrender? Wait. Fleeing the Plague Baron Devourers. Wait, we have refugees? What? That's interesting. Minarin. Okay, where did you even come from? Did you come from here? Oh, they're... 
they're purging people. Oh, we're we're saving these guys' life then. They must have been a pre-sapien civilization or something. We are we are saving their butt. <laughs> Holy hell. Oh man, they're They have a lot of armies on this planet for some reason. Not possible when Starbase is under occupation, yeah. Um, oh man. No, we definitely want to uh We definitely want to do there has to be more. So this world, right? We're going to turn it into a mining world then? I suppose. Intel is failing. That's fine. Okay, so as long as... Let's just build another fleet here, actually. Just get these Corvettes a rolling. We need to win this war. Like, more more than anything. Okay, plus eight. Okay, there we go. Wait, this is this is now an excellent mining world. Let's go. We have our factions. Man, it's going to take a while to bomb these guys. Wait. Military fleet. Orbital bombardment pop damage. Okay. I guess. Um, should Is it worth building armies? I don't think it's worth building armies. I think we're just going to keep bombing them. Council agenda speed. Sure. An eye for talent is good. Um, 1.3k. Ooh. We should barely win this, right? After our spaceport. We'll see. We will see. Maybe not slowest. Go, avian ships. Alien reform network. We are just barely winning this, fortunately. Currently, anyway. Yeah, it looks like we're it looks like we're winning. The starbase being on our side definitely definitely helped. Hopefully a good amount of them died and didn't just get reset. Wait. 14 out of 19 died and we only lost 9 corvettes. That's excellent. Um, yeah, let's just heal, and then we need we immediately need to go back to bombing that world. So it looks like looks like we're winning this war, if slowly. Oh, but we stopped bombing them, and they and their armies went back up. Do we actually need to build armies as well? It's so annoying, but I'll do it. Um, how strong are you guys? I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess I guess we're gonna have to buy minerals as well all right well we'll uh we'll do what we can here <laughs> it's slower than i wanted but you know it's fine all right so our armies are here 234 let's get these merged here i think we have one more army on the way yeah one more army on the way and uh that should be enough to take the world here actually i think it's enough now we'll just land them and then we'll uh, we'll tell this other army to go ahead and also land. Our champions Let's just take this world ASAP and uh, immediately upgrade this station. We'll probably peace out after this. They're already down for a status quo, so yeah. Our okay, we've taken the world. Easy. Um, not too easy, if we're being honest. I guess we could try to push our luck a little bit. Hopefully their fleet is still incapacitated. Um, I, I mean, I don't really have a need to take this station, but... Heretic station you know. engaged. We could also try taking their homeworld in this war, but that's... Anomaly found. Might be unnecessary. An unnecessary risk. Yeah, no, that's an unnecessary risk. We are going to end this war now. And we're going to be having our new planet and our new system and... Pretty much backing these guys into an absolute corner here. Sounds good. They're going to accept because they have no choice. And, uh, yeah. We have not given up. Consider this a, uh, a ceasefire. Well, <laughs> good luck. Good luck is all I have to say. Um, let's upgrade this star station immediately to as much as it can do. And let's get back on... Wait. Wait. Cannot build this type of station around systems in this planet. What, what do you mean? 
Oh, because we don't have the materials. That's fine. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get back to actually building our empire here. <laughs> an observation post is good as well. And yeah, we have an anchorage here. Yeah. So, these guys are backed into a corner, and we can finally get back to building our empire. All we have to do is make sure that this starbase is uh, more than whatever they can throw at it. And actually, having this system is really good, because we'll have a kind of a warning, because they have to move their fleet to that system, so yeah. Looking good, actually. Didn't look too good when we only had, like, 14 size planets all over, but... 11 size planets, but, uh... We're gonna have a capital here eventually, which is all of their pops. So... Yeah, looking good, looking good. I think we're having a race with an expansion fleet. From the, uh... From the mining droids here. Hopefully we win this race. Oh! We have not. Encountered. We have not won the race. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, um. Wow, it decided to, uh... Oh! It lived. Okay, 700. Um. You can beat that, right? Yeah, that is really unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> how, how much is this? 2k. Okay, well, we can't defeat that yet. But, uh... We can take out these mining drones. As annoying as that may be. And they're tough. They're, they're lasting a while. The spirits have okay, we didn't lose anything, I don't wisdom. think. But yeah, that was that was an interesting interaction. Uh, is our construction ship back? It is. We need we need a tad more, a tad more to go reclaim this. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, the mining drones. Understood. An alien empire now speaks to us in the language yeah, I'm, of I'm, the I'm understanding the mining drones. I'm un understanding they're a pretty big annoyance right now. But yeah, our empire seems to have made a recovery of sorts. I mean, not that we were in any dire straits. I don't think these guys were ever really going to uh, crush us or anything. Oh, they're equivalent. Hmm. That's scary. Okay, we can see their capital now as well. Okay. Um. Okay. Fanatic purifiers. We can't. We can't be criminals on, which doesn't make too much sense. But you know. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. Um, I guess I'll set you to automatic surveying so you can do the rest of this. But yeah, our empire is pretty much stable. I have just enough jobs for all the people in our capital. I've cleared the blockers and everything. And then on this world, again, just enough jobs that we're uh, scraping by. I I've had to buy minerals a bunch of times, but once we get this world up and, uh, up and running, really, I think that'll be... A thing of the past, having to buy minerals over and over. We might have to start buying food. Might abandon our food world here. And then this world, also minerals. Um, I've also got this world under wraps. It, uh, it still has stellar culture shock, does it not? Oh, does it not have stellar culture shock anymore? Hold on. No, I guess not. So, yeah, that's good. The Plague Baron are here. All of the uh, original inhabitants of this world have moved to this world. Which is, uh, which is funny. So, but yeah, everything is stable. The only only specialists on this planet are entertainers, just to appease the very unhappy pops that were here. Are they still unhappy? Yeah, they're not that unhappy. Ready. Decadent. Construction oh, of complete. course they're decadent. Uh, necrophage. Oh, they're necrophage. Oh, well, I did not realize that. <coughs> Interesting. Oh, okay, this was one of their pre-sapient worlds then. That makes a lot more sense. This was one of their guaranteed worlds with pre-sapient. So they have another pre-sapient species that's uh, probably getting forcefully converted somewhere out there. Um, let's see. We could do psionic theory. 34 months. That's not bad. 25% progress. It would take us a long time to research it. How long? Let's see. 65 months. Well, it's less efficient using the uh, council, but honestly, though, I mean, do we really need anything else in the council? I've never done that before where I've just used the council to research, but uh, we don't need that. Oh, we could use this, actually. Yeah, we could use this, and then maybe we'll go mind over matter afterwards. Definitely don't need that. So, yeah. Interesting. Necrophages. Okay. Yeah, they, they, have, they have definitely destroyed some poor pre-sapient somewhere over here. <laughs> Unless this is their other pre-sapient, actually. Wait, hold on. There's only four of them. 
Wait, this could be their other guaranteed habit of world, actually. I just realized. Huh, yeah. Are these guys in the Stone Age? Secret of Fire Wheel? Yeah, they're they're yeah, they're they're definitely in the Stone Age. Um oh, speaking of them, we just got an event. Uh Okay, the inhabitants have enhanced their agricultural skills. Okay, that's good. Um no, we're not going to we're, <laughs> we're not going to steal their food. We'll just learn. It's more useful anyway. The spirits have granted yeah. us new wisdom. Our empire is pretty stable. System survey complete. As of the moment. Oh, we finally finished this. Okay, let's get Let's get all the minerals we can. We're uh, we're definitely needing minerals right now. So yeah, unless we find someone over here, we might have this entire wing of the galaxy all to ourselves. Just holding this one check po uh, choke point might be complete. fine. Well, we're also probably going to have to hold the shroud tunnel wherever we decide to build that. Yeah, the shroud beacon. But uh, I have I have no reason to build it just yet. Uh, there's just no no reason to open ourselves up like that to another attack. Where are you going? No. See, this is why automatic surveying, I just can't... <laughs> I can't get down with. Like, what What are you doing? You're, you're going all the way back here to survey a system that's already being surveyed instead of surveying the system right here, which is more valuable, like, information. And it's also not already being surveyed. Oh, wait, it's not. Okay, I take everything I said. Well, not everything. You, you should still survey the system closest to you, but I forgot our, uh, our original leader... I uh, got kicked out by a different scientist, and now uh, Oracle Gerbal is the is the leader. Yeah, okay, still silly though. Well, we have found one of the Marauder Empires. It's looking like we're not alone in this side of the galaxy. So technically, an empire could be here, and they could be cut off by the Marauder. Well, they might not be cut off depending on whether this system. Okay, hopefully our scientist lives. Okay, looking lo looking like they are going to live. I guess we should go down and see if th these two systems are also controlled by the Marauders before I say anything more. Uh, yeah, let's let's get one of our envoys figuring out the Marauders' language there. Actually, wait, no, because it has to be three systems. So it's either this system or this system. It has to be, right? Because it, it needs to be three systems. All Marauders are three systems. So yeah, this is definitely the last Marauder system. Hopefully our scientist lives through this experiment <laughs> that I'm forcibly putting him through. Evading heretics. Yeah. Okay, so there's the last system. So technically, another empire could be behind here, and we can't get there because of the marauders. So this section of the galaxy is locked off for a long time. This section of the galaxy, not lock locked off for too long. We could maybe even, if we push through, uh, take this system, but... I have, I have no need to unlock the door over over here. We have plenty to worry about over here, with these guys still being equivalent to us somehow. And uh, these marauders here, so... No need to unlock the door. I guess, survey. I have a lot of scientists. I have, like, how many? Uh, leaders? Leaders, please? Yeah, I have four scientists, and uh, they're about to run out of things to do really quickly, so... Yeah, we are going to have to unlock this door, but uh, I'll put it off a little longer. System I mean, our fleet is complete. is only barely able to be on par with it, and uh, I really don't want to destroy my fleet <laughs> to uh, the spirits have yeah, signs of barbarism. We, we know what these guys are. We're aware. We've played the game more than once. I guess we'll do this. Well, we could also use destroyers. And then... No stealth tech. I guess we'll do this. Or... Yeah, we'll, we'll do this. That's fine. Yeah, we have we have a whole bunch of scientists exploring and only two station, two spaces left. I suppose we could also take out these guys. The subspace anomaly. In fact, we'll do that right now just to make sure these guys have something to do. Um, oh, you're going over there. Interesting. Uh, we, we will not be lifting the immunity, no. We'll just put another... Wait, which one was it? Hopefully I'm not putting the same guy back immediately. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> um, this is an admiral. This is an admiral. So yeah, after we after we defeat this... We're kind of, we're kind of stuck here. Not as stuck as these guys are. 
but definitely stuck. Um, oh, I've never upgraded the station. That reminds me. Wow. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Maybe even set up some defense stations. How how terribly designed are our defense stations? Oh, absolutely terribly. Okay. <laughs> wow, that is that is pretty terrible. Just a defense station with some scout ships. Interesting. That's uh, that's quite the interesting design. Good good job, Mr. AI. They've closed their borders to us. Okay, so they can go to war. Oof. Uh, let's let's go take this out. Heretic fleet engaged. All right. Oh wait, and the system was immediately scanned because there was a probe. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're gonna go set up on that station just in case these guys these guys could declare war on us at any point now. Uh, you are a head of research, so you're a statistician. Damage versus star bases. All right. Sure. We'll we'll do that. In and then we have the Reavers. More the Dwar marks. You've met a, you've met someone else? Are you sure? Does that mean there's someone here, or am I reading too far into it? Probably reading too far into it. We have received an insult from the Plague Baron. Our face is some kind of maw. Is it? Yeah. Well, I guess it is. <laughs> um, we are an affront to nature. Okay, well... That that does it. We are going to Our ships take out these guys improved. once and for all. Actually, we were going to do it anyway. I was just waiting for our ships to upgrade. Our economy is stable for the most part. And uh, besides being trapped, we're looking pretty good. We're not doing too bad when it comes to economy. And our tech is doing okay. I, I can't really compare it to many other empires, but... Uh, I know for sure that these guys are inferior, so yeah, let's see, what do, we, what do we want, speaking of tech, probably habitability is good. Yeah, we're going to move our fleets in and uh, do our two-step plan of expanding our empire. First step, of course, being taking out this empire, and then the second step is, yeah, we can't we can't unlock this sector of the galaxy, so we're probably going to unlock this sector. And also kill these mining drones, as we now have a fleet that won't won't take too many losses doing so. In fact, we probably won't take any losses. These are mining drones as well, right? Yes. We're going to kill these two groups of mining drones after we kill this empire. And, uh, yeah, see what the galaxy has to offer us. We still don't have the cloaking tech, which is fine. I mean, we don't need it right now. There is There is no need for it currently, so... I'm not too upset. Hopefully we will get it soon. I have gone pretty much into uh, tech options here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six options every time we get a tech. So yeah, we're, we're definitely on the lookout. We also have, uh, let's see here. Yeah, we also have technological ascendancy, which should make rare technologies appear more frequently. So. I'm not too worried. I think we'll we'll be the able to get it just fine. Uh, what did you have to say? What took you so long? <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah. You're not gonna say that soon enough. Let's see. Uh, no need to reinforce. Where is their fleets? Where is their fleets? Why is their starbase at 1 health? Oh, they're being raided! Wait. <laughs> they denied? Wait, okay, two of our leaders just died. Interesting. Um, let's lawn, wait, name a landmark. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Wait, only one of our leaders just died? Okay. Hold on, one second. Let's take a one second break from the war here. Uh, you. You're the new governor. The best leaders are those who understand the power of the spirit. Of course, of course. Yeah, these guys are just being raided. <laughs> wow. Oh, they're actually bombing it too, doing our work for us. Yeah, this is the easiest war I've ever done. I, I have built up way too much. I, I have strained our economy for a long time building up this this very big fleet here. Seems like it was very unnecessary to do so. Um, yeah, sure, you're the new Minister of Defense. We have a, uh, a uh, Marauder guy from an event, so that's cool. 
And then I guess you're the new Minister of State. Our, I guess our Minister of State wasn't important enough to have a like grand funeral, which uh, is unfortunate for him for sure. The I guess we could. Uh, our space it's port. not that all. It's not all that important. Construction complete. Yeah, w we're bombing it. The uh, <laughs> the uh, the Marauders are bombing it. It should be fine. Um, what should we go with here? Probably city district housing would be good. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Yeah, this, sh this should be. The apostates are after our spaceport. The apostates are after our spaceport. Are they? I don't think so. Okay, we just got the promising officer thing, so. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just put him in charge of our army for now. Let's go and take the rest of the rest of these systems in case they surrender. Not that we don't have the influence to rebuild them, but why rebuild? Oh, we're running out of things here. Glad I caught that. Um, let's go with resilience. The apostates are after um, still our no spaceport. cloaking tech. Alrighty. Well, I guess we'll go. We could go sensors. That's good. Yeah, let's go grab Heretic these systems and uh, bomb this world and the apostates are after yeah, we our should space have port. should have plenty of resources to go and break through this little line here and take on the rest of the galaxy overall a decent start <laughs> didn't look like a decent start at the beginning with these uh, very small worlds but it's definitely come around Heretic fleet engaged well, there the we go. Oh, hold on. Spaceport. What uh what is going on here? Oh, wait. We took this planet and they're raiding it. So then so then we go into battle with them? That's how that works? That's very interesting. I have never seen that interaction in this game before, and I have played it for a lot of hours. Interesting. So now what? They go and destroy my station, which I want to turn into an anchorage. <laughs> um, with hydroponics, please. And then, and then what? And then they destroy my research station. Rude. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, they've stopped raiding the world at least, so that's good. I guess we'll create a new sector here. Make get get an official for this. Um What what official do we want? We only have two really. The the one that gets more XP, that's good. Let's look at this world. Okay, it's a pretty balanced world. I guess. We definitely don't need this to be a mining world. In fact, it's a pretty poor mining world. It has less mining districts than the agriculture, so I guess this could be like an agri-world. Yeah. Well, first let's fix the amenities situation. Let's get that down and... Oh, there's no hollow theater either. Yeah, these guys just had low amenities in general. Where did you guys get amenities from before? Clerks or something? Interesting. Yeah, let's get some amenities down and... Uh, I don't know. Upgrade this and... Yeah, I guess we'll turn this into a farming world. Their old capital. And then I guess the rest... I mean, we could also make a generator world. But I think it will just be a city farming world. Probably with some... Either research stations or... I guess it could also be an industrial farming world. Or a mining farming world. I don't know. We'll figure it out. First and foremost, we need to get this world... Uh, <laughs> out of stability board. 7. So. Research station martyred. Yeah, I guess these guys are just going to go through destroying all of my stuff. Heretic fleet Even though... Oh, oh no. Wait. Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. The apostates are and they're attacking our, our fortress station. Military station martyred. Interesting. Well, mining there goes our defense martyred. platforms and our mining stations. That was a very interesting interaction. Um, oh! Hello! Oh, it's just Tiny Key. Okay, never mind. I thought there was an actual empire locked behind this gate here. There still might be, but uh, if there is, we don't see it. We'll do Mind Over Matter, sure. Okay, let's get this debris researched. 
No point in not doing it. Also, complete. debris here. Mining station. Yeah, these guys are just going to. Oh, what? Wait, what happened? Where'd they go? Wait, they were here and then now they're gone. Oh no, we ran out of food. Oh no. Please, no. 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 Okay, um. Wow, we have a uh, experimental state space navigation before we have. <laughs> Where we have a uh, cloaking, so that's interesting. Uh, civic slot. Wow, we're gonna have a civic slot too before before we're even cloaking. Um, do we even need the civic slot right now? That's the question. Not really. In fact, yeah, let's just go psionic theory and uh, do something else with our council here. Actually, we really don't have anything else to do with our capital. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Never mind. We'll just, uh, we'll research that civic slot, I guess. <laughs> Not that we need it as of the moment. I was thinking about going franchising for my civic slot, but, uh, we currently have nobody to franchise. Mining corpse. Oh, wow, this is, is this their headquarters here? Or is it just a pretty beefy station? Oh, yeah, this is, this is their, yeah, this is their headquarters here. Very cool looking thing, by the way. I really appreciate this. Starbase looking thing, but uh, yeah, okay. So we have, yeah, we have spawned right in the middle of the mining headquarters here. Plenty of, uh, plenty of things. And we also have the Great Wound as well, so. Yeah, with an Astral Scar. We haven't had any Astral Scars in our Empire. Almost forgot that DLC was installed for a second. So, yeah. Um, oh, we are, we are not doing well on a bunch of fronts. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get you fixed up. Also upgraded. Our ships have been Where's our other fleet? Oh yeah, let's definitely get you entering this orbit here agenda so that uh, our energy credits stabilize. Looks like everything is pretty much stabilized. We also have this. Enigmatic Engineer Cloaking Strength plus two. We're definitely going to need that. Eh, let's do it now. Why not? We're definitely going to need it, so might as well do it now. Weird heat blobs, okay. Well, I mean, this has been interesting. We have a whole new world with all of the default population, so let's Our see. Ships have been improved. Yeah, 20. Oh, only 25. Wait. Why is there only 25 Plague Baron here? Shouldn't there be more? We have 47 and we have other worlds. I've even, I've even resettled Pops off of this world and we still have 47. How do these guys only have 25? They only had one world. So their population growth I mean Oh I guess they I guess they actually necrophaged all of their pops. Yeah, yeah, they did necrophage all of their pops. Oh god, we're consumer goods negative now too. And I don't have the energy. Okay, we're gonna have to sell alloys. Yeesh. Yeah, our economy is uh is and reeling right now, but now speaks to us good thing we we're not in much divine. danger. We've kind of killed the only danger, complete. and now we just have an overabundance of fleet power a little bit, and uh, a strained economy. One that I will get back on track soon enough. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So, the materialist one, our scientist. Actually, our original leader scientist. The one that we've had since the beginning of the game, of course. No. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely not. Blockers cleared. Um, I don't care if you come crush me right now. We're absolutely not giving you our scientists, you materialists, fiends. No way. No how. So yeah, we are ready, I think, to actually start taking out these the have mining drones. Oh, wait, what did we just get? Okay, mining purifiers. Nothing, nothing important for our ships. Should probably get ion thrusters. We could we could use our ships being faster. I still also have the portal in my back pocket in case we desperately need to get out of our pinch here. But uh, I don't really want to open up that engaged. that route of attack just yet, especially when we don't need to. Okay, there we go. Mining drones destroyed there. Let's get our useless science ships and finally get them working once again yeah we'll also do take out this system here 
Where's our construction ships? We also need our construction ships coming over here. The spirits have Where is this us one? New wisdom. Yeah, you need to come over here as well. Okay, we have our civic slot. Um, hmm. We don't really need anything right now. I was going to go franchising. Wait, where is franchising? Franchising? Oh yeah, here's franchising. I was going to go franchising because I was planning on subjugating a bunch of empires this playthrough. But, uh... We haven't really had much franchising opportunities just yet. We can always hold off on the civic slot until we need franchising. That's fine. It's not like we really need another civic slot right now. Our economy's fine and uh, there's nothing special we need. So I think I still will go franchising. <gasps> Finally, basic cloaking. Okay, awesome. Things are, things are happening for us. Things are happening. We might as well finish off this uh, the civic wait is, is that what we have going no we have a higher purpose going on in the council yeah we might as well finish up being psychic and uh finally it seems like our build is coming together for the most Heretic part fleet engaged. as we finally exit our spawn area our almost little tutorial area you could call it the spirits have granted and, uh, us new wisdom yeah get out there where is our okay you're just asleep so you can come to the science ship and do this Where's our other science ship? There's another probe here. I'm not seeing an empire. Well, I guess there wouldn't be an empire here because it's it's blocked off by the fallen empire. So it seems like this portion of the galaxy is also blocked off for us. We have a lot of uh, a lot of roadblocks, engaged. which isn't isn't a bad thing. I mean, it's really not. It's almost a good thing. Um, where is our final scientist? Where where is our final scientist, and what is Oh, yeah, they're they're governing. And then another one is leading our empire. So I guess we'll hire another scientist. We're not doing too great on unity. In fact, we were even negative in unity when we had our crisis. Uh, you know, our energy crisis. Well, not energy. Um, I think it was food and, and consumer goods crisis. Yeah, we were actually negative. So, gotta be careful. Um, habitability is good. But thrusters is also good. Orbital rings is even better. Yeah, let's go orbital rings. We have plenty of alloys and we have plenty of influence, so orbital rings might also be really good. We have no need for cruisers right now or anything like that, so yeah. We're doing just fine when it comes to naval capacity. I mean, I don't know that for sure, to be honest. Other empires could be out there building massive fleets, but I doubt it. Um, Our scientist died. Oh, that's the one that the materialist wanted. That was our leader. Okay, well, who's our new leader? Um, the a scientist that wisdom. was a roamer. Okay, well, which which scientist was was that? Okay, this one here. Let's hire another one, I guess. Um, you're level three. We'll go with you. You're a militarist. Interesting. Um, adaptionalist. Sure. Go out there and do things. Actually, let's let's get you researching projects. Because we need we need that done, and then do things. Sounds good. Let's, yeah, we'll we'll hold off on taking this last one. We'll we'll get all of this claimed and uh, under our banner, and then we'll go and take out the last one and see what the galaxy has to offer. Or it might not be the last one. It may maybe more, but yeah, let's consolidate what we have here before we uh, before we go too far. Seems like this path of the galaxy is completely cut off by the fallen empire. So looks like. W Still, we only have one little path to the rest of the galaxy. And of course, we always have the the path to Alessia in our back pocket when we do, in fact, want and need to do that. All right, so we pretty much have all of this claimed. I suppose we'll, we'll move complete. on in. Yeah, we'll move on in with our destroyer fleet. I've separated our fleets. Situation log updated. Here we go. Heretic fleet engaged. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's about done with the with the mining drones. We haven't found any more empires over here though. So it looks like our search for intelligent life was gonna continue. Of course this life is a little bit too intelligent. We can't really subjugate them, but yeah, I do want to get our franchising up. 
I, I can't, well, as a, as a megacorp, you can't really conquer the galaxy by taking all the planets. I mean, you can. Your tech will just slow to a crawl, and your unity will <laughs> be even worse. Um, let's see here. We could do, we don't need shields. Uh, sure, we'll do that, and then we'll do this, that's fine. So yeah, we have our, I've separated our ships, and uh, I've created a stealth fleet, or a stealth design for our corvettes. We can't actually do it yet because we don't have we don't have any uh, exotic gases. So they're just kind of waiting there. I've separated the corvettes from the destroyers. That's kind of how we're going to play this playthrough, by the way. We're going to have big ships in one uh, fleet and then stealth ships to do stealth operations. And hopefully that works out. I mean, as far as I can tell, that seems to be Space the best way of doing things. Encountered. Okay, we have met new aliens. Interesting. Interesting. Um, amoebas. Okay. Well, we don't want to attack them. We're not strong enough to attack them with no losses, nor do we really have to attack them at all. Um, sh sure. I mean, either one of these don't really matter. And then... You? You're, you're the oracle, so... Yeah, you could use... An actual leadership trait. The Z aliens. Okay. Hold on. Is this an actual empire here? It is. Okay. They're not an arid species, apparently. They haven't had that world colonized. Okay, so we have run into another empire. Finally. Finally. The spirits have granted let's, us um, new wisdom. Let's get on over here and Oh, we haven't surveyed it. Oh please. Please guys, we need you to survey. We could also start cloaking our science ships. Oh, okay, so we could get past these guys, we could get past these guys. Our, our cloaking strength will actually be pretty good. Yeah, it's already four. Four out of five, just from nothing, so <laughs> that's pretty good. From all of our all of our different bonuses. So yeah, our cloaking strength is already four, which is really good. I don't even... I think the Fallen Empire aren't even detecting us here, potentially. I mean, we'll we'll research this and then, and then we'll move in and see see if it actually does. But uh, yeah, what what are these species anyway? Mammalian? Pretty sure that's mammalian, right? Oh no, that's humanoid. That is a humanoid station. So we have humanoids here, interestingly enough. Let's just keep going through their systems. Why not? Anomaly There's no found. other place our military fleet really needs to be. Uh, we'll leave that be for now. Spaceborn creature uh, we have found Vlur. Okay. Construction complete. Everyone knows how I feel about Vlur if you've watched my tier list. <laughs> Vlur. The faithful have claimed a new uh, I'm world. Not seeing, I'm not seeing their capital or anything. Is this is this Nightwing? What what is this system? Neilwing, interesting. It's a cool name for a system. Um, okay, they just colonized this world, actually. So it looks like we're on the edges of their space, complete. for sure. We're going to have to get one of our construction ships to uh, get in position. We have our other construction ship building an orbital ring, actually. And exotic gas is good. We need that. And we need the research for exotic gases as well. Um, looks like we're not having it right now. What is the shortest research thing? It's got to be this. Ten months. Well, the other one was nine months, but it's the same thing. Um, fascinating creatures, or we can learn to coexist. Um, do we really need to pacify them, though? I don't think so. An alien I don't think there's any really need to pacify to them. The of the I think we can kill them just fine. We'll do artillery focus. It's fine. Um, spaceborne civilization discovered. Okay. Wait, they've, they've researched us already. Wow. I guess they were pretty threatened by uh, us going through their systems with our whole fleet. Interesting. The Civilian League of Worlds. Systems they are egalitarian xenophiles. And they already... Wait, wow. The aliens already have the Galactic community up and running. Interesting. Um, I mean, we might as well be friendly to them. Evading no reason heretics. not to. Uh, forced to decloak. Incoming okay, no, definitely, definitely not above the Fallen Empire's capabilities. Never mind. Uh, yeah, we'll 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 join, we'll join the galactic community. Why not? And then we are probably gonna find everyone else here. <laughs> um, 
Militarist authoritarians. Okay. They're spiritualists, at least. Uh, xenophobe authoritarians. Okay. And then the Incoming Shep Golden Church. Okay. System survey complete. Lots of... Uh, Lots of stuff going on here. Council the Red ready. Legion. The Combine. Yeah. Alright, well. Let's see, how strong are these guys? We don't really know. Establish Embassy. We're also going to spy on them. We have a lot of people to spy on here. Let's spy on these guys. These guys are also close enough. We'll spy on them. I'm guessing these are also necrophages? Or maybe they just look like necrophages. I don't know. Authoritarian materialist. Ooh. Definitely not gonna be friends with these guys. Um Guess we'll also spy on these guys. And finally Where where is our who who is in charge of Alessia? No one. I guess we'll spy on these guys then. Let's see. Alright. We have our spies working. The Hasbuzan Syndicate. I remember there was a Hasbuzan Syndicate last time, but the they had a different. Uh, us new well, there was a Hasbuzan something. I recognize that name. I just keepers. All right. Well, interesting. They haven't closed their borders to us actually, but uh, no, no reason to have our fleets stick around. A strange message. A new archaeological site. I mean, okay. Sure. The spirits Go for have it, granted King. us new wisdom. Where where are you? You're here. Where's your archaeology site? Alright. Sure. Go for it. He's one of the special leaders. So might as well let him do his thing. Okay, we're really behind on all of our researches. Um we have detection arrays, so other people probably do as well, which is unfortunate. There was no uh Okay, there was no no technology else we needed. Um Hmm. I guess we'll go with starbase capacity, maybe? Couldn't hurt, I guess. I mean, yeah, none of these other things are really, really useful for anything. And then finally, probably go with missiles. Is it quick? 13 months versus 10 months versus 20. We definitely want exotic, exotic gases is what we really want. Oh, this will be the quickest, only five months, okay. And our council agenda, higher purpose. We could also go with uncover secrets. Oh, code breaking base infiltration level. Interesting. Well, I've never done it before, so let's do uncover secrets. Why not? We'll try it. So we have built up our fleet, our detection, and, or sorry, our cloaking, not detection, our cloaking fleet and our non-cloaking fleet. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Hopefully we can sneak this one on in there. It's looking like their detection is not all that not all System that great. I'm not complete. sure if they have a detection station. This station, yeah, it has zero detection. By the way, uh, all of the, our infiltration buffs that we have a lot of, by the way. Yeah, relative encryption, empire. Empire plus 78, so we have plus 78% infiltration speed. We have 80 influence, so we can see if star bases have detection strength. And uh, well, well, we can't see this one just yet. Can't see that star base, but we can see this one. And uh, we can see that it has none. So our fleet is coming in and around. And I guess we'll take it right to their capital system. Which also has no detection strength. So awesome. Uh, we also have this. We'll just make them a statistician. Why not? And yeah. So basically we're going to launch a two-pronged attack. One prong, of course, will be our our fleet that goes in. And we have frigates as well, and corvettes. I might as well show you the designs. So we have missile corvettes and, of course, missile torpedo frigates. And uh, that is our current design. So, yeah, pretty cool overall. I haven't used frigates much throughout my Stellaris career, my long Stellaris career. So that'll be good. Um, you're an industrialist, sure. See, so now we just have to wait. It looks like our... our our fleet, our cloaking fleet, is doing have its job. We could have always used it to take out a station as well if we wanted to. Um, just annihilate the station because it has torpedoes and missiles and all that. But I think we're just going to go straight to their shipyard. I assume, of course, their shipyard is their, their main station. I mean, that is where their ships are. 
So, yeah, sure, you can research that. Uh, research complexes, we could also do detection. Might as well put up our own detection thing, why not? Actually, I don't want, ah, uh, nah, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, I actually can. It's Incoming not like we're having a research agreement with anyone, so. Um, let's do this. Puzzling polygon, all right, whatever. All right, we're in position. All right, so we can immediately declare war. Oh, wait, hold on. I just realized we cannot declare war just yet because I have a branch office on these guys. We have a smuggler's port and a sub uh, subversive shrine, which has a cool description and cool logo, by the way. Look at this thing. Yeah, a meeting place for followers of the subversive cult to gather and conduct their ceremonies, which is very cool. But uh, yeah, it's time to declare war. Alright, as nice as this is, we are going to have to get rid of it, so goodbye, branch office, and hello, war. Why can we not go to war? Wait, overlord of... Wait, these guys are the overlord? Huh. And we can't go to war with subjugation? Wait, hold on. Why can't we go to war, though? <laughs> Look at our fleets, <laughs> following <laughs> following their fleets. That's awesome. Um, what's not awesome is we can't go to war, which is interesting. The Overlord of the Coalition of... Is this... Yeah, this is the Coalition. Okay, so this is the Overlord. Where is the Overlord? All the way down here? What? You can't even defend this. What? Uh, Alright, I mean, I guess... Well, what about you guys? Why can't I go to war to subjugate you? Um, we do not have the subjugate... Having an overall higher relative power. Huh. Well... Alright. I suppose we'll just have to make some claims, um, and then release him as a vassal. Which is an extremely, extremely inefficient way to make vassals, but, uh, not much I can really do. Um, 200, 400, 300, yeah, 200. I think for this first war, I guess we'll just take their capital. Honestly, this war is more of a test anyway, but it's very unfortunate that we, uh, we can't really do what I wanted to do but it's alright we are gonna test out our theory anyway we're gonna claim this system and then declare this war hopefully their allies won't come out of nowhere and beat our butt but yeah the I think we'll be fine so here we are at last this war will be the end of your empire I don't think so I don't think so um, we're immediately gonna deactivate cloaking Heretic and uh, start broadsiding these ships here all right. How how is our missiles doing? Hopefully destroying their their stuff here. We also have this station here to worry about. Not too worried though. I mean, this this little uh fleet will be will be better once the game progresses, of course, as uh torpedoes will do more damage. Oh, they even have defense platforms, interesting. Yeah, our missiles are are making short work of those as well. All right, we are definitely losing some ships here, but uh, not as much as the enemy. I hope, anyway. <laughs> that is my hope, okay. Let's launch our other prong of attack here and take out this station. Make sure that they don't have this, so. Yeah, we have taken over their home system and it's cost us, how much? Two Corvettes and four frigates and they have lost everything. And when I say everything, I almost mean pretty much everything. I mean, they've lost this entire fleet. 22 Corvettes, 4 Destroyers, they lost their defense platforms, their capital is in ruins, and uh, 42 days until we can just do it again. So, yeah. Of course we're going to allow their surrender. And uh, I think we've successfully Heretic sniped their home engaged. system. I think they want more. Do you want more, dude? Feel free. Heretic oh, they want more. Alright. Come get some. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, now we're just bomb bombing their capital. Their fleet is gone, and uh, our main fleet is coming from another angle. I guess we'll do Voidcraft. 
Or we could do Inquisitor. Or Void Crap. Yeah, Void Crap's good. We already have an Inquisitor, I think. They might have died, actually. Alright, so we're uh, attacking the other station here, Heretic which we did just engaged. fine taking over. And they have no fleet to go and defend it, of course, as we've already taken it out immediately. Which is great. Well, they also have another station here. Okay, let's take this. Let's take out this fleet. Port. Let's definitely get rid of that. Spaceport and uh, let's get rid of this station here, which could be a shipyard. Definitely looking like a shipyard, so let's get rid of that as well. Heretic station All right. engaged. And then Space we're kind of just waiting until these encounter. armies to go away. 631. Well, the that's a lot of armies. After our space but uh, System that's fine. Complete. We have space plenty of time. Encountered. Let's get our other ships over here to help with the bombardment. And I think once we have that bombed, we'll probably be good to give in. Especially considering uh, the, the occupation and how they've wisdom. just lost all of their fleets. Can we have detection arrays? Um, let's do artisans. Let's do edict fun, sure. And then let's do let's do some more torpedoes. So overall, cloaking it helped for sure. It's definitely it definitely speed uh, sped up this war, which is good because if these guys ever do come and uh, provide backup. It's it's a good thing that we got these guys out of the way really quickly. Heretic I mean, would a regular engaged. assault have been better? Possibly, but uh, I think our I think our cloaking strategy definitely worked. And with our new fleet coming Council in, agenda. we're going to be able to take over bombing this planet, which means I can heal these ships and then go torpedo down the rest of the stations that are a threat to us. In fact, let's let's just start cloaking now. Can you cloak and bomb as well? Um, yeah, you can. Looks like you can. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're watching and learning. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do anything. Yeah, you can cloak and bomb, so. Interesting. Wait, are you bombing? The I think they're bombing. Are after our spaceport. Uh, no, they're not. Okay, no, you can't cloak and bomb. Okay, that makes a lot of the sense. I was like, have granted us new wisdom. you know, I, I didn't say anything, but in my head I was like, what? You can cloak and bomb? That's very... It's very strange. Okay, another governor, sure. We could use another governor. Special governor, go ahead. Do your thing. Oh, you're much better on the council, huh? Alright, well, our minister of state isn't really doing too much, so... Go ahead. You do... You do you. And then, where where's our minister of state going? I guess he can go here. Yeah, that's an important world. Uh, what are we out of? Rare crystals. Where are we even spending rare crystals? Alright, I mean, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll buy some. Ooh, I didn't realize our energy was also low. I remember when we were running out of food and we had plenty of energy. Now, it's the opposite. Interesting. Um, we're over our naval capacity. Interesting, I didn't realize that, so let's do that. And, uh, I suppose we could also do this. Sure, why not? Alright, well, after their uh, homeworld is falling soon. And, uh, let's... Yeah, let's get these... Oh, no, these guys are cloaked. Okay, they're healing right now, currently, right? They are healed. And let's go... Let's go see how effective just torpedo destroying this station really Spaceport is. Martyred. Council agenda ready. Okay, he's just flying right through the system. Good. System survey complete. Absolutely no care in the world. Heritage We're gonna get right up on the station. Oh, I, I clicked to attack it. That's actually my bad. I mean, still got close enough to uh, to flawless the station, but we could have actually done better than that, in fact. Because, you know, you clicking on the station to go to it actually makes your fleet attack it, and it decloaks immediately. Any more stations to take out? Okay, this station we could also take out. Interesting. Let's do that. Peace Heretic offer. Station engaged. Okay. Alright. Um, where is our fleet Anomaly here? Found. Okay, we can activate cloaking again, almost immediately. And then we can go and take out this station. Oh, the and we can hire some, uh, us new wisdom. some guys. We might, we might even do that. Our economy is not doing too great, but, uh, you know, things happen. Mine is 84 a month. Yeah, we really need to fix that. I, I don't, I don't truly know what's causing that. Um... Is it the rare crystal shortage that's like really, really destroying our energy? Energy weapons damage resources from jobs. 
The apostates are after know. our spaceport. Um, oh, their fleet came back for a second. Okay, it looks like the world is going to soon surrender. And, the uh, have granted us planet wisdom. surrendered. Okay, awesome. And we're about to take out this last of their star stations, I think. Alright, let's get rid of it. Engaged. And gone. Just immediately gone. No fight for it, just, just gone. Oh no, they have another star station. Interesting. Okay, so how close are you guys to just surrendering? Okay, only 11 away. I think I'm just going to probably wait out the rest of it. Maybe go around bombing some other stations. But other than that, yeah, I think I'm... I think I'm fine to just wait around and... You know, await their surrender. Alright, so it looks like we have actually lured our kaleidoscope away. Uh, yeah, so it's just gone. <laughs> Color out of space. Seems like it's in this system. Yeah, it seems like, uh, seems like these guys definitely have the color out of space now. Unfortunate for them. <laughs> I wonder, okay, I wonder if our, like, espionage things were cancelled for the other ones. No? Still luring the kaleidoscope in other places. I could abort it. But why, why should I? The Shep Golden Church. Okay, let's see. It's now in the Shepherd system. <laughs> okay. Alright, interesting. Oh, there's a smuggler base? Where? What? I don't I don't care about that. Situation log update. <laughs> I don't care about that. Um, okay, so it's in Shepherd now for sure. So is it also here? Oh I did duplicate it. I I I, I done diddly duplicated the kaleidoscope. Still, still... Okay, yeah, mineral short... Wait, mineral shortages? Oh, no. no. That's not good. When did we have mineral shortages? But, uh, yeah, we, we done diddly duplicated the, uh, <laughs> the kaleidoscope, which is interesting. Um, yeah. Overall, the kaleidoscope was pretty good. And then the Terrassian Republic, where is there? Where is that? Okay, here. All right. And another kaleidoscope. So I have uh, I have gotten rid of my problem, and I've I've got I've gotten a bunch of other empires my problem, which is uh, which is excellent. So <laughs> our build is working, our little infiltration build is uh, is working. Oh, and our minerals are back. That's good. We even have more minerals than before. We can upgrade our capital. This war should be won as well soon. Minus twenty two now. Wait, what? Complete. Why minus 22 now? Did something happen that, like... You know what? I'm just going to take the status quo, because, like, who cares? Well, first I'm going to take out the station, just for the fun of it. Heretic station engaged. And it's gone. And your armies are gone. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, let's... Let's let's not wait around. There's no point in uh, just ego battling this war. Let's get it over with. We'll accept this for now. Monarchist and Association of Advanced Science. We don't want that. We, In fact, we don't even want this planet, really. Actually, I guess we'll keep it for now. Minus 29, consumer goods. It's fine. I guess we'll keep this planet for now. It's, it's fine. It's a decent, uh, a decent planet, actually. It's not bad. Synthetic crystal plants. Okay, that's actually good. We need we need that. And uh, what else you got? Commercial zones. That's also decent. We don't need a hall of judgment. In fact, you just built the hall of judgment to counter my <laughs> to counter my my building, which was very rude. They even they went hall of judgment to counter my my criminal enterprise. Like it's really not all that big of a deal. I don't know why the AI always overreact when it comes to that kind of stuff. Like oh, there's criminals in our empire. We need to, <laughs> we need to fully invest everything we have into uh, stopping them. Like no, you really don't. You really don't need to do that. So yeah, we'll keep this empire and uh, use it to make claims on the surrounding, surrounding systems. Slowly build up our little, uh, our little vassal here. I think once we have all of these surrounding systems, we'll probably hit them with the vassalization. 
But uh, that'll be a long way away. I mean, at least ten years. So, well, let's just uh, let's just get back here. Upgrade. Is there an upgrade? Yeah. Let's get back and upgrade, and do our thing, and fix this economy. Well, it's already fixed. I don't know how. I don't know how it fixed itself after we just took in a terrible planet. But uh, all right. I guess thrusters or missiles? I guess missiles would be good. So someone actually did spawn in this little star cluster here in Deneb. <laughs> possibly possibly they were actually a pre, pre-FDL empire that started, but uh, no, they're definitely here. And uh, we have we have <laughs> established contact with them. They're behind the Fallen Empire, so unless the Fallen Empire opened their borders to them, they're not they're not going anywhere. Well hold on. What does their flag look like? little circle. Wait, they don't have their borders closed to them, do they? Okay. The kaleidoscope we previously observed have moved to the Joflet system. Wait, are these guys, are these guys also like getting rid of their kaleidoscopes? Yeah, they are. <laughs> system survey complete. Wait, who got rid of their kaleidoscope? Okay, these guys the got rid of their kaleidoscope to these guys, huh? Wisdom. They just passed it on. Interesting. <laughs> Drifting fleet, we gain a small fleet of marauder ships. Um, no, I don't really want that, actually. Physics research, Bureau of Espionage, ooh, that could be good. That could be good. But uh, yeah, someone does exist behind here. They exist in Deneb. Incoming transmission. So, a rift in space. The spirits have granted Is that us our first rift? Wisdom. Yeah, I think it's our first rift, actually. And they want to establish an embassy. Well, you are fanatic. Uh, materialists so yeah we don't really want anything to do with you if only we could make it past these fallen empire ships we would uh, we, we would actually just take you out but new world. currently we have no way of doing that so our allies here they want to declare war against our kind of rivals over here I mean we don't have an official rivalry with them but we might as well yeah, actually, we might as well. Yeah, they want to uh, declare war against our rivals, actually, to wrestle control of one of their vassals. Um, wait, hold on. This one? Oh, that's not what we want. Wait. Okay, so... Hold on. They're going to take the... Wait, whose side in the war are they going to be? Because we want these systems, but they're going to be on that side. It depends on which side of the war they'll be, whether I'll actually get my my planets out of it. Hmm. It's quite the conundrum. Because if these guys go to war and they actually do wrestle control of this this uh, ally, then we can't we can't really attack them without attacking these guys, who we have a defensive pack with, by the way, uh, re and a research agreement. They're they're overall very friendly with us. Eventually, I want to subjugate them too, but uh, not now. Not now. I was actually having my fleets on the way to go and take out these guys. Well, not take them out, but subjugate these guys. They currently have no allies, so I was going to go do that uh, before they do. Before they do have allies. Who are these guys? Um, a bulwark under these guys. Interesting. Okay, yeah. Th these guys have their own like little block in this uh, part of the galaxy, and these guys have their own little block as well. And, uh, of course, this guy also has his own little block. So, and then there's another little block over here that may or may not include this empire. I think it does. Yeah, it does. So, interesting, interesting different blocks in the galaxy. But uh, back to the situation at hand. I guess we'll say yes. Because we want these systems. Oh, oh wait, they joined the war on our side. That's actually no good. Spaceborn creature encountered. Huh. Wait, so part of the peace deal is not me getting... Not me getting those systems. Actually, in fact, I probably should have said no to the war then. But uh, it's whatever, I guess. I mean, I guess I just won't even... Won't help too much. <laughs> it's fine. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll just go to these. Go to. The, we'll, we'll continue our plan of going to this system and just taking out this empire here, uh, as I don't really, I don't really care. You, you're probably next, to be honest. 
subjugating. And, uh, actually, wait, you were next. I, I just realized now. You were next, but, um, you're actually having a defensive pact with these guys who I don't want to go to war with just yet. So. Yeah. I wonder what happens if I go to war with these guys. Then I'd be at war with my ally in this war. Which would be interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Spaceborn creature encountered. I guess we can set up our our things to do that. Um, yeah, I guess we don't get these complete. systems after all, which is annoying. I guess we will eventually get to uh, get to conquer these guys. I I would. I guess I guess we should probably break our defensive pact with them soon, so we can take them over. I do want to start building my own block of uh, empires here. I just didn't want to do it to our ally. I also didn't want to wait the 10 years and break the defensive pact, but it is what it is. I might I might choose to subjugate these guys and break the defensive pact like that, where I just go to war here and these guys will by default break the defensive pact with me, System survey complete. which would work a little bit better. I don't know. It doesn't really matter at this point. Um, where do we want- you are the cloaking ships, right? No, you are the non-cloaking ships. Okay. Where do we want you? I guess we want you attacking that... the capital? And I guess we want you attacking this uh, this station, which is 10k. Complete. So it sh we should see... oh my god, what happened to our economy while I was talking? While I was blabbering? Jeez. Um, yeah, cut scientific investment, sure. We have so many things to worry about up here, jeez. We also have some orbital uh, orbital stations, as you saw. This one's not doing... Or, yeah, this this one's not doing too much work yet. But, um... Yeah, lots, lots going on, lots going on. I might... I don't know. What, hap what even happens if I declare war on these guys? Incoming I guess we'll do it after this war. We'll take these guys over and then... Okay, Special aggression pack. Complete. Um, well, I can't attack you anyway. So, why do you care? I can't attack you anyway. Uh, first League. That should be the last one, right? No, it's not the last First League thing. Alright, let's, uh, let's cloak up. And uh, this has no detection strength, right? Oh, we don't know. Huh. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Do we even... We're not spying on these guys. Okay, yeah, we're not spying on them. We, that's why we don't know. Hopefully... Complete. Hopefully they're... Okay, they haven't detected us yet, so I don't think they're going to detect us. Let's get right up on their station. And get this war going. The war going for subjugation. And Heretic let's take out the station. station. Engaged. Immediately destroyed it. 10,000 versus basically 20,000. And we only lost one little frigate. How much does that cost? Yeah, 200 alloys. So I'd say overall that is uh, quite the success. And then we'll use our main fleet to go in and actually fight their main system. Oh, their, fleet engaged. their other fleet is coming to attack our station here. Let's go cloak again, <laughs> which is hilarious. Let's go cloak again, and then I guess we'll just have these guys bomb this. So these guys are going to move in and try to take this system back. And then we're just going to uncloak right on top of them. In fact, we could we could already be doing that. Let's let's go do that. Spaceborn creature encountered. Yep. Let's uh and attack. Heretic fleet engaged. And they're gone. <laughs> oh wait, did we really lose another ship? Oh, we lost two ships doing that. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, another 400. Not bad. Uh let's let's go take out this. System So then we have a lot complete. of planets here to uh conquer here. Oh, here's Soul. Interesting. Oh, it's a it's a tomb world. That's not good. We have another we have another Heretic enemy fleet, fleet over there. Engaged. Interesting. Hopefully, we're not gonna have to worry about too much defending our home front here. We have how much is this station? Twelve thousand. That should hold them off, I think. While I'm worried about a different war. So yeah, I've got us in like two different wars here, but both of them I think we can we can win pretty handedly. Funny enough, our our main fleet with our cruisers and destroyers is 13k. 
And this is 19k with the frigates. It's not even at full capacity. It's not even at 80. Interesting. Well, let's go activate cloaking and uh, go towards this station and repeat the cycle. Are we still... Now we're out of Valtal modes. Oh my goodness. I can't catch a break. Just always economic disaster after disaster. Oh, I let it I let it progress too far. Holy hell. No, it's bad. Skirmisher. Oh, we got we got a lot of things to worry about here. So I'll get that all taken care of and uh if anything if anything tragic or triumphant happens in these wars that we have <laughs> going on here, I'll I'll get back to you. Our enemy to the south here, the main one we care about. We don't really care about this war, but this one, this war of subjugation here that we have. I think this is their entire fleet here. I think this is their shipyard as well. I don't know. Where's their cap? Is this their capital? Where's their capital? I think we already took their capital. So yeah, this is their entire fleet. Everything that's left. And uh, I think I think I'll be able to just stealth attack it and destroy it outright. Heretic Let's test that theory. Next. Uh, yeah, and it's gone, and they lost all of it, literally all of it, not a thing, a single thing survived, they, they somehow lost 10 out of 9 transport ships, <laughs> well, the stealth attack definitely worked, we lost 2 frigates, but, uh, yeah, that is, that is more than an acceptable loss, and I think this empire is just about done now, they don't have any shipyards left that I see, and, uh, yeah, no more fleets either. We just destroyed all of them. 5 out of 5, 19 out of 19, 6 out of 6. Gone. So, winning this war is just a matter of time and uh, defending ourselves from these guys, which actually have a decent fleet here. It is not their own. I've already looked at it and it is pirates. I don't... Uh, I guess they rented this fleet. Oh yeah, Armada of the Voidborn. Yeah, they rented that fleet. And now we have a bunch of notifications to take care of again. Who, who is this? Scientist. Uh, we'll name a landmark in his honor, sure. Why not? Was he a member of the council? Oh, he wasn't. Okay, we're, we're good then. I think we're good. And you need to level up. You're a traitor, sure. So yeah, they have a pirate fleet, and that's about the most threatening thing about them. They also had another 7k fleet around here, but... Yeah, nothing, nothing too threatening. Nothing we can't take care of. And our alloys are just uh, something else, so... If we ever lose any fleets, we can immediately build them back. If I had more energy... Well, I had a lot of uh, energy debt, but now that I've got masterful uh, Mastercraft Inc... I, I grabbed Mastercraft Inc. to uh, boost my economy because it was just... Uh, there was a lot of negative things, and we, we really needed it. I was, of course, going to go franchising, as I've uh, mentioned, but... I mean, we don't really need franchising to have a bunch of subjects. We just need to be strong. And Mastercraft Inc. has certainly made us stronger. Yeah, now we get now we can afford more more fleets as well. So Yeah, I didn't know I didn't know we were that positive in the energy credits. We were we were negative pretty hard in the energy credits before Mastercraft Inc. and now we're this positive because each one of our each one of our um artisan units or not units, <laughs> artisan specialists, they they make two point four trade value. Wow, two point four. So, that's really good. Our trade has been boosted by a lot. 166. Yeah, 244. This is this is probably the refinery world then, yeah? Yeah. So, there you go. Economy doing really well, and we've all but won our War of Subjugation. Well, it seems like the Great Khan has popped up, and... While it's not in an ideal location, this location for it is certainly better than, uh... Oh. Certainly better than this location for it, so we'll count our blessings here. In fact, yeah, this is this is much better because we would have immediately have to had to have uh, submitted to these ones because we just our fleets aren't even there to defend us. So yeah, where is the Great Khan? Let's see. Is that him? No, this is him, isn't it? No, this. No, this. Oh, 55k chosen of the Great Khan. Yeah. That's his fleet. It doesn't show him there, but he's there. Wow, yeah, that's 55k is wild. Let's let's look at the uh Let's look at the galaxy. We have every empire on here, all right? 
Let's do, yeah, sort by relative power. Okay, so it's the keepers, then the marauders, and then us. And then also this other crime syndicate, which is weird enough. And we are the most powerful in the galaxy, and these are my fleets. 24k and 13.5k. Um, and, uh, yeah. That is the Great Khan's fleet. So, I wonder if we could even beat the Great Khan with our Debris stealth tactics. Analyzed. We should try. Oh, they, they pledged loyalty to us. I guess they don't, uh, they don't want none. Alright, let's go upgrade my ships. And, uh... And try to go fight a Great Khan fleet. Debris Not that it really benefits analyzed. us too much, but, uh, yeah. I'm also... Now that I have so many alloys, I was... I'm, I'm trying to debate whether I want another stealth fleet, or I want another... Um... One of these fleets. Another head-on... Kind of... System tactic survey fleet. Complete. I guess... We are gonna have battleships soon, so... I mean, maybe I can make both. 27k... Well, let's see. Let's let's see if I just cloned this fleet. How much that would be? Okay, 17. K oh no, I could make I could make both. Okay, hold on. Let's yeah, let's do that. Um, I should have done that earlier actually, because now my shipyard is going to be busy making those corvettes port. and frigates, and they're not going to be uh not going to be available to to upgrade our ships. Where are our the ships? All right. Um. How long is it going to take you to get to Shimmering Sun? A thousand days. Wow. Um, we might lose our vassal to the Khan, and that's honestly, it happens. <laughs> it it happens. I, I there's not much I could really do about it. Um, damage to rivals is actually useless. I have no armies, and I really want armies, so I want the psionic armies, but that's also kind of useless. Twenty one months, ten months. Let's just do ten months. And then we'll do code breaking, because that's really important. No, never mind. We will not, because <laughs> it's like so many months. Yeah, our research is really poor. Our research is, is really poor. We're going to have to work on that. I think I have one planet that I'm setting up to be a research world. Uh, this one. Although I did a corporate culture site. No, I should really have this be research. I, I take it back. You are you are a research planet. No, no corporate culture. We have this little bonus to our research, which is One of our good enough. Is it's good enough. Enemies. One of our stations is beset by enemies. Is that a true statement? You mean this guy? This this little this little fellow here? This little wait, these guys are rocks? Oh, they are rocks. Huh. Incoming I didn't notice that before. Oh wait! Oh, we didn't win this war. Holy hell! I'm I'm stupid. I, we didn't win the war that was... Mmm... Uh, hell, okay. I guess we'll keep... Mm, we need to keep one of these, these fleets back to bomb these guys into submission. I guess we'll do the stealth fleet because if the Great Khan arrived we could always just go stealth. And I honestly think the stealth fleet would have a better chance of beating off the... Uh, the well, I guess that's a weird way to put it. Uh, defeating the Great Khan in battle. <laughs> Not an aggression pact, but the other most powerful empire in the galaxy. That's fair. You know what? That's fair. Man, these guys are actually really strong. They have, ha they have their whole block here. End up here. Wow. <clears throat> these guys are kind of doing what we wanted to do in the beginning. They're just, they're just us, but better. The Which is, is fair enough. I'm not too jealous. We're in a good spot. I mean, we're in this corner, and uh, we're kind of allied with the the block here. This is, they're pathetic to us, but they're they're gonna catch up eventually. Man, we should have. Uh, the spirits have granted I don't know. Us new I don't know if I made mistakes, cause now this is like a whole block here. Um, scientist died. Name a landmark, sure. Hopefully that wasn't our council member, cause that guy's actually pretty good. Gene modification. I guess we can do that. And then... Fertility Preacher or Adaptionalist? 20% mm, experience. Yeah, no. 20% experience is really good. So, yeah. We made some mistakes here. Main mistake is I thought we won this war and we didn't. 
Not that it really looks like it's mattering here. Yeah, <laughs> this is, uh... Oh man, all of our leaders are dying. That's no good. Hmm. Oh. Oh no. Uh... Fleet we might have to go stealth here. Are they actually coming for? No. Okay. Okay. We're we're good. I think for now. For now. Wow. These guys got done construction before before our fleet even came back to be upgraded. That's that's really that's really crazy. I guess I don't really do Corvette Swarms too often, but these things build fast, wow. Um, I guess I'll make my my battleships now. I'm probably gonna want a battleship fleet. Should we do carriers? I think carriers might be nice. A car a ca we'll do carriers mixed with artillery. Oh, never mind. No, we won't. <laughs> I, I lied. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just do artillery. What are we, what are we going with, lasers? I guess we've been going with lasers and like plasma, which is interesting. Let's auto complete our ship. Um, I, we typically go without shields, don't we? What is, what is our okay? Let's just save this really quick. What is our cruiser looking like? Yeah, we we typically go without shields and with lasers. Well, I might as well keep the trend going here. We'll do that, and we'll do. I guess we'll do some crystal infused plating. Why not? And yeah, that looks good. And this is carrier? No, no, we want artillery here. Artillery. And yeah, there we go. There is our battleship. Monarch of Battle. And then our fleet. I guess... Do we want an all battleship fleet? I think we want some cruisers as well. Yeah, that looks about right. And then with our this fleet we can add we can add one battleship sure sounds good i know that fleet won't won't finish construction before the other ones get here one of our stations is beset by enemies um we could expand the council but all the other council positions are pretty much useless so mind over matter telepathy actually you know that'd be good we do need those armies and our uh, our things are very slow oh Adaptionalist, politician, all, all of these are great. Um, all of these are great. I guess we'll just do politician too. I do want this council stuff to go faster. Why are you bored? Oh, that's why. All right, go FTL. That's a little. That's a trick you can do, by the way. If they're ever stuck, you can just do return. Wow, look at the Great Gods Empire already. Holy hell. This is, uh, this is quite the empire already. Oh no. I hope we don't have to actually go and defend this. Because we have this thing. I, I, don't, I failed to mention it before, but yeah, we have, uh, the, the, uh, precursor home world there. Heretic I haven't colonized it or even days. researched it much yet. I was too focused on this war. Um, yeah, let's just hire another scientist because we can. What does that even do? Council agenda speed. Hmm. I guess we can... Yeah, we can send these guys back up. All the debris here is useless, so... We'll send these guys back up to that system to have it researched. Another, another ascension slot. I don't think we need any of these ascension slots. Especially we don't need the arcology project, I don't think. I mean, maybe. Mining drone base destroyed. Oh, you guys, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Thanks. That's not really what I wanted you to do, but that's good. I mean, that's I'm not gonna argue with it. <laughs> now we have the surveyor. Um, let's not, let's not, uh, let's not follow that up with a second mistake, if you don't mind. Yeah. Um. What are we? High war exhaustion. Oh no. Oh no! Please. Please bomb these guys. Incoming transmission. Oh no. How are they not going to surrender? If we do status quo... Wait. We don't own territory? We do. 
Wait, what? Is, what is this? Oh, they've been gathering up armies to... Bro. This is so unfortunate. Oh, and we lost our commander for this fleet. Man, so many unfortunate things. You, I mean, you are the Minister of Defense. I guess you could be a uh, strategist. Yeah, a lot of things I need to fix. They're offering a white qu <laughs> white beast. No. Well, it's looking like we're going to lose this war. Our war exhaustion's at 100%. Somehow, they've gathered an army to uh, probably try to take back this planet. I don't know why they haven't yet. They could probably take it. But yeah, I guess they've just been, like, <laughs> building fleets and all these little planets and sending it to that planet, which is actually pretty smart. Like, when it comes to, like, absolutely last-ditch effort to hold on to power. It's pretty smart. Like, even if we did the status quo, we wouldn't even get anything right now, because we just... We don't... I, I, I mean, I guess we own this planet. I don't, I don't know why we wouldn't get it. But, yeah. Anyway. It doesn't matter anyway, because, uh... Yeah. They are moving in. One of what our is, when is this? Is beset by enemies. 24 Mining months. Station oh. Murdered. 500 days, yeah, until until forced peace. They just lost their their station there. I don't even think we're gonna be able to take this. Oh, we we might actually. Doesn't matter though. Oh, they're going this way. Oh. Have granted us Maybe. Our ships <laughs> Maybe we will be able to win this war. Just by default, and then enemies. immediately have our vassal get crushed. <laughs> Spaceport hmm. martyred. Well, I'm glad I never took the, uh, oh, a psychic, okay. Cool. I'm glad I never took the franchising civic. <laughs> because, uh, our one vassal we've got so far is just getting absolutely crushed, so. <laughs> that's, that's good. It's a good thing I had the, uh, the hindsight. Incoming oh, look, we got back the system. Technically. Oh wait, no, we, we lost the system because they destroyed the space station that we owned, Spaceborne and then it, they rebuilt the space station. Now we don't own it. That's a really, uh, really stupid way to lose the system here. Hmm. Peace. No. You're you're gonna have to force us peace. Oh, 40 days. After 27 days. Board. Oh no. Please. Seven days. Okay, Space I think we got it. Okay, we got the system. Oh, they're willing to do it. Yes. Be my subsidiary. <laughs> alright, now good luck. <laughs> good luck. Well, alright. Uh, maybe we can hire a commander and actually do something here. Or we could have one of our other commanders. Oh, this guy's just a... This guy's just governing something. No, no, no. You, uh, you, need, you need a real job. Activate cloaking. Maybe we could take this out. We're at 18k. This is at 20, 26k. Maybe if we heal. Spaceborn I don't know. This encounter. will be the ultimate test of uh, whether this is actually good or not. Who are you? Special project complete. Broken rule. Oh. Okay. These guys had the uh, the dictator start. First league headquarters. Yeah. We we know. We know. All right. So, now that they're healed, I'm I'm going to try it. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. Mm. We need to get right on top of them. Space storm arrives. Is that... That's good for us, right? That helps cloaking? Pretty sure that helps cloaking. Oh my god, but we're so slow. <gasps> have us Why are we so wisdom. slow? Oh my god. Look at us. We're crawling. And we're going fastest. Where? We lost them. Oh, wait. Here's some. Alright, this is uh, 8k and 7k. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to take out these guys. Oh, they're, they're going here. All right. Um, and engage. Fleet engaged. Okay. How many? How many ships did we lose, and how many did they lose? We lost uh, eleven. 
and they lost more than 11. I suppose that's a win. 2400 was that 2400 to repair it's not really much of a win hmm um who submitted oh yeah well it looks like our fleet can kind of hold its own against the great con but not really we're, we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to get out of there our vassal is uh, very much on its own at this point um why did you not just go back home why okay what if I what if I activate cloaking then will you return home okay now they will awesome yeah good luck good luck vassal <laughs> you had a nice run and we defended you once that's good enough all right so our fleets are poised our stealth fleets are poised to uh, attack these void creatures I don't know we're in the Great Wound, and they have these Void Creatures, 5k each, so let's see how Stealth does against Void Creatures. I know you've always wondered how uh, <laughs> how Stealthcraft has to... Engaged. Oh, well, uh, I think we did well. No, we did not do well at all. We lost, like, a whole bunch of ships. How much does it cost to reinforce that, I wonder? 1,500? Wow. And then, uh... 400. Well, maybe these guys were missing ships anyway. It couldn't have been 1,500, right? Maybe it could be. I don't know. No, they were already missing ships, huh? Or no, they were already being reinforced. A uh, new asset? That's good. Well, you heard it here first. Stealth ships do not do excellent against uh, void creatures. The more you know. So, these guys have just given me an alternative way to start our block over here and I have wanted my own little block but I wanted it to be vassals however federating with these guys could also work I mean I, I would much rather them be my be my uh, my vassal but Desperate times, I suppose. I don't know. We could also turn this into a trade league, which would benefit us. I suppose we weren't, uh... I don't know. At, at, the video, at the beginning of the video, did I say we were going for galactic domination? I don't think we were. I think we were just trying out the stealth things. I don't really know. I mean, we'd definitely be the most powerful in this federation. But would they go for a trade league? Fanatic Xenophile Egalitarian. I don't see why they wouldn't. <laughs> so we have a non-aggression pact with them, right? Or do we not? We don't. What do we have with them that makes us not be able to declare war with them? Oh, we have a defensive pact with them. Mm. I guess we're already kind of a block. Mm, well. Their vassals are hostile. They'll also be in the Federation. Or maybe... No, they, they won't be, right? You know what? Let's just do it. Honestly, I'm down. I am down. Why not? And hopefully we can do some... Uh, do some work in this federation. Uh, we need a actual leader to go there. No, we don't... <laughs> we don't want to do that, I don't think. They can do that. That's fine. Um, can we change our federation type to trade league... You must be the Federation president. Mm, it needs to be a unanimous vote. Offer association status, sure. Debris association analyzed. status. All right, I guess we're doing the uh, Federation route this time. Not that I really wanted to, but uh, I don't know. We could always leave it. Federation or... Uh, defensive pact it doesn't really matter it's still 10 years we'd have to wait after the treaty runs out so i am making no promises that i'll stick with this federation but for now we are federated all right so now that our you know main fleet our battleship fleet is uh, mo mainly built mostly built i'm going to take our original fleet i think yeah the bronze Sufet, and we're going to we're going to give it a different leader. It's going to put us over leader capacity, but we're going to be losing that leader soon enough anyway. Um, engineer, I guess it's a good trait for mercenary captain to have. 
unyielding is actually better. Uh, yeah, let's do unyielding. Alright, and then we're going to make this a mercenary group. So, yeah, we're way over our naval capacity, and that's by design. I wanted to turn these guys into a, uh, into a mercenary unit and replace them with this new battleship fleet. It's gonna be the same as this fleet. It's, uh, nine battleships, four corvette, or er, four cruisers, so... Where do I want to put this fleet is the question. I guess we could put it here. Which is probably our most important bastion, am I correct? Yes. We could put it there. Um, or we could put it behind the bastion just because maybe I don't the want that fleet always like if we do lose the bastion I don't want to lose the mercenary fleet as well well if it ever comes down to that we're screwed anyway so sure it's a deal um, logistical solutions is always good Where where is there invite the federation who are we inviting Oh, the Hasbaz- Oh, the Syndicate! Oh. Wait. They'll join? Holy hell, okay. Well, I mean, An if they'll join... Now speaks to us wow. Of the oh, that's good. Space Zero Corp. Wow, we're actually- We actually have like a kind of a Galactic Federation here. Because the Great Khan has scared these people straight. Well... Alright. I guess we'll, I'll just have to fight for the uh, the scraps of the uh, of the galaxy with my stealth fleets. Yeah, it looks like we're all united here. Wow, these guys are even a subsidiary under the Hasbazin? Wow. The Hasbazin, uh might be doing better than us at this point. At least they will be soon. I, I don't see a way of them not. Um, once the Great Khan breaks up, we'll, uh, we'll probably... We'll probably go in there and vassalize whatever is remaining. I think that's really our only uh, galactic power play that's really left. Is this... Where's our portal go? Hold on. We always have our portal that we could invade through. Okay, our portal goes here. It goes to the Shep, which are now our ally. We could always t try to take out the Fallen Empire. Or these guys. Could we sub subjugate these guys? We could. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. Uh, I know the Great Khan is a big threat and all, blah, 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 but uh, I think I think a subjugation war would be pretty good here. Also, we should probably... Um, we want you to recall your fleet. Wait. Have they already... Have they already rented their fleet? Let's help them get a bigger one. Um, and share our technology with them. Sure. Rent a fleet. Uh, the Hasbazin Syndicate is renting our fleet. Interesting. I suppose they're going to use them to fight the Khan? I guess that's fine. Sure. Why not? An alien empire now speaks to us in the land oh, he lost his the traits. The, gu the guy who we... Oh, wait. Maybe this... Wait. High Admiral Enshma. Unyielding to engineer. Oh, the uh, the admiral that we put in charge of the enclave doesn't actually. Yeah, it doesn't actually control their fleet. Hmm, I didn't know improved. that. I, I was I was complete. under the impression that that wasn't like that. Okay. Um, being at war without any hired mercenaries is banned. Well, that's not good. Naval capacity minus forty percent also not good. Home guard. Sure. Fortifier? I mean, both of these are kind of... Sure, why not? I guess we could build some defense stations. Uh, what is our defense stations looking like, anyway? Um, are they, like, terrible? They're not terrible. They're not great, either. I feel like maybe some missiles and a large plasma cannon would be good. Yeah, armored torpedoes. So this is this will kind of be a mix of our... Oh, no, we don't. We don't need shields. Our shields technology is bad, and uh, I don't plan on ever improving it. There we go. So this is kind of a mix of our fleets. Our regular fleets are all plasma, of course, and then... Oh, wait. This only has a range of 30. Okay, no, we definitely can't do that. <clears throat> we could fill this up with quantum missiles, though. That would work. Oh, that's... Oh, no. Wait. No, that's not what I meant to do. 
That's not what I meant to do at all. Okay, good, it saved it. Bam, bam. Please, let me click. There we are, bam. Our new defense platforms, and I'm pretty sure all of our defense comes down to, uh, comes down to this station here. Of course, some of our, some of our empire is outside of that station. But, uh, yeah. Let's just do that. Eventually we're gonna have to destroy this this and expand our empire over here, and it'll all be behind this station. The Red Legion is gone, and the Horde is looking more scary than ever, really. I mean, they're just huge. Wow, they've even reached here, technically, through a, a vassal, forced vassal ship, but, uh... Oh wow, the Horde is even here. Wow, a lot of them. Yeah, this is... Oh, did they have an orbital ring that they just smashed? I don't know. Why is there debris above their capital? Prosperous unification? I don't I don't know why there's debris above their capital. Um Alright, well there's debris above their capital and the Khan have descended on them too, so Yeah, I think these are the people I wanted to invade, right? Yeah. Hmm. Well, all of the little Khan vassals I uh I have an opportunity to invade. Speaking of vassals, is our own vassal still even alive? No. I don't know how I missed the end of our own vassal, but uh, yeah, our own vassal's gone. <laughs> so that's, they used to be here, but they are no longer there. <laughs> Man, the Khan is, uh, it's getting real dangerous. Occupied by the League of, where? Who are these guys? These, these guys have taken over everything? How? When? What? I mean, pop off, I guess. But anyway, yeah, this this entire sector of the galaxy is controlled by the Khan, and uh, I really assumed that he would die by now. He has not. And wow, this is like, what is this? It's not it's not quite a hundred k of forces, but it's like at least eighty. So, yeah. And they're pushing forward here. None of these are even the Khan fleet. That's scary. Where is even the Khan fleet? That's. Horde garrison fleet, hmm. Yeah, kind of scary, but they're far enough away from us that it doesn't really matter too much. And we could definitely take on a few con fleets. Uh, all of them? Probably not, but a few? Definitely. So, anyway, the Federation. Something funny is that uh, the Federation... The only people who really care about the Federation are the Hasbazan. <laughs> they're the only person who put a representative here. Currently, we'd just, we would just be at negative 1,000 million cohesion all the time. If we didn't have this, but uh, slowly our cohesion is is going up. <laughs> Construction. Oh wait, complete. hold on. Wait. Oh the the uh, yeah the Savantian League. Okay. Well, they just put an official there. You you just saw it as well. So yeah, we're we're, we're probably gonna have that, and then we're probably gonna try to trade the ta take. Oh my gosh! Change into a trade league as soon as uh, as soon as I can. I just need to pr be the president first. Does when when it, when am I going to be the president? Does it say? Where does it say again? Current term ends twenty three forty eight ten. Twenty three forty eight ten. Wow, that's. It's actually a long time from now. Twenty three forty eight ten. Yeah, then I'll be president. Hmm. I assume I'll be president because it's a rotation, System and I was the second person to join. Complete. So, yeah, it's gonna be a while. We might not even want to change it at that point, considering. Actually, no. The benefits of tr changing it will still be better than. Better than a galactic union, if we can even do it. Um, you would like to donate. I mean, we would not, but we also don't want to unsubscribe. So yeah, I guess, I don't know. Because if we change the rules of the Federation around, then we're not going to be able to, uh, well, we're going to reset the, the level of it. And then resetting the level means we're resetting the centralization, pretty much. And then resetting the centralization delays the time where we can actually take control of it in some fashion. So... I just, I don't know. We'll have to weigh the pros and cons. The Hasbazan Syndicate wants to trade techs with us. And... Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Sure, why not? We'll do that. Bioreactor. I mean, we have a lot of food. 
food from farmers, energy from farmers. Oh, wow, wait. Oh, yeah, they changed it. Oh, this might actually be really good. Oh, bioreactor and then nutrient replication. Ooh. Hopefully we can get nutrient replication again. We'll, we'll see how good that is. I mean, let's see. where Where's our farming world? Um... I could use some more farms. Let's get this a... Let's get this a, uh, an orbital ring so that we can increase the number of districts we can have while also increasing the food we can have. And then maybe we'll put a bioreactor on it. See what that does. I think that'll be my first time using the bioreactor, so that'll be cool. Plus nine trade value is nice. Yeah, we got, um, we got really lucky with the thing we got, um, where is it? Yeah, I think we got three volatile moats in this system, which equals five volatile moats because of our bonuses. So that is absolutely excellent. Now we're only bleeding five a month, which is a lot more affordable than what we were doing before. Not that we're not rich. In fact, I really need to spend alloys and stuff. I better get to doing that. So ends the grain of the Great Khan. Serim Den Pirim? I don't know. Who cares? He's dead now. And his empire is soon to crumble. Who are we inviting? Habanite Unified Worlds. Where are they? Where? Where? Who? Who? What? Where? Who is the Habanite Unified Worlds? Hold on. <laughs> who even is that? Um, okay, we'll, we'll search by name. Here it is. Democratic Crusaders Life Seated. Um, you have six planets? Oh, this is the, um, oh, yeah, this is, this is these guys. Sure, we'll invite them to the Federation. They're powerful. Yeah. I mean, they're pathetic, but... I don't, I don't see why not. Rig and commerce exchange. Oh, yes. That is exactly what we need. Oh, and these guys. Oh, yes. Okay. Awesome. Yes. This is exactly what I needed. This is just what I needed. We needed some rare minerals. All right. And then we need... Uh, wow, that'll actually set us straight when it comes to that. We've just been bleeding them the entire time. Just, yeah, bleeding. Then the Reagan. Yes, thank you. Let's see. Let's see this beautiful thing. E minus zero. That's that's excellent. Absolutely excellent. Um sure we'll repair it, why not? Federation Association ended. Interesting. Well, I'm uh, I'm ready for the Great Con to crumble. These guys, what are these separatists or something? What, what, what kind of war are they having? An uprising. Yeah, they're separatists. Okay, interesting. These are the guys who uh, declared the loyalty to me, right? Well, not anymore. Oh, no, no. I think it was... I think it was a different symbol. I don't really know. It doesn't really matter. Death of a great leader. Anomaly um, found. Yeah, cut the ribbon, sure. Oh, that was our that was our legendary leader. Okay, we have an official slot open now, and a slot open for our our main guy, our main leader. Hmm. Architecture, longevity is good. Trade is also good. Clear blocker is eh. Is this trade on all worlds? Yeah, sector governor. Let's trade on all worlds. I guess we could just get the Masterful Crafter to do it and put someone else in in charge of uh, Arctic Sea. I guess we'll get this guy in charge? Oh wait, no, he's a materialist. No, hell no. No, 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 no. No materialists. Alright, you're a uh, very long-lived guy, so we'll, we'll let you have it. Oh wait, is that not the... Yeah, Sector Governor. This This is the Sector Capital, right? Arctic Sea Sector, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's the Sector Capital. And the Horde's gone. Let's see what happened. That's the Great Khan has proved to be on the undoing. Uh, their empire has been divided between 
the most powerful of the military commanders. Okay. Well, there we are. All of this land now open for the taking. And I think taking I will be doing. Um. Hmm. I could just declare war now. Wait. Oh, wait. I'm in a federation. Huh. Would they would would the Federation vote to go to war with me? For me? Is the question? That is the question. Or I could just try to get them on board diplomatically. It could also work. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. These guys, prosperous unification, cordial. Would they be a subject? Oh, these guys would just be a subsidiary off the bat. Done and dusted. Okay. Done. Anyone else? My best friend, apparently? Establish embassy. Okay. Um, what about you guys? Neutral. Incoming hmm. transmission. Surveyor. Okay. They are my subject. Awesome. I guess these guys would probably also be my subject if I just... Uh, Built up there. Oh, why are they suspicious already? Because they're xenophobic? Hmm. These guys are neutral. What if I gave them a gift? How much do you guys like food? And consumer goods. We have so many. It's ridiculous. Uh, bam. Take it. Enjoy it. Now you're uh, going to establish an embassy with me? We might be able to subjugate these guys peacefully, because I doubt anyone else wants to be their friend. <laughs> um, 50 trust, excellent relations. Yeah, I think I'm going to go the peaceful route. As much as we want to see our stealth fleets in action, right? I think we're going to go the peaceful route. These guys are suspicious of us, which is fair. But uh, how suspicious are you going to be if we give you a bunch of consumer goods? Okay, you have consumer goods. Interesting. Well, do you like energy? Everybody likes energy credits. There you go. Now they're neutral. Still don't want an embassy. Spaceborne creature encountered. We'll get their relations up. Actually, we could just uh, vassalize these guys um, normally, and then we could just go to war with these guys. Oh no, they're cordial now. Okay. I think we'll definitely get to One him before anything. Is beset by enemies. Combat? What? <laughs> what? What? What is this? What's going on here? What? It? What's? Spaceborne what? creature encountered. Okay, it's dead. Anomaly found. What is? What? You know what? I'm just not gonna question it. Sure. Why not? I have to find another target to go to war with. What about these guys? They're in their own federation. Would these guys... Can I... Why is it just letting me declare war? Oh, they're voting. Okay. Are these guys gonna... Are they gonna be chill? It failed. Hmm. Well... Oh yeah, they're in a federation. Hmm. Well, blocker cleared. I suppose we're gonna have to expand our uh, subjects can join. That's n really not something we want, because um, all of the Hasbazin's subjects are gonna join. No, that's not something we want at all. Is that gonna pass? Holy shit, it passed. What does the Federation look like now? Oh my. It really is a Galactic Federation now, huh? Man, and so the Trade League needs to, it still needs to be unanimous? Oh my god. This is... We might actually leave. Um, Mysterious Labyrinth. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll send a team to investigate. Man, that's, uh... We might need to reevaluate our options here. What do, what do we get for alloys? That's pretty good. Yeah, you want an embassy? Well, we're in a federation together. But leaving the federation is now a death sentence because every single empire would be against us. We've got ourselves into quite a pickle creating this federation. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> I thought, oh, you know, we're in a defensive pact. Uh, so that's basically a federation already. Might as well make the federation, right? <laughs> no. Because, you know, leaving the federation is a 10-year... A ten-year war buffer, and ending the defensive pact is also a ten-year war buffer. So it doesn't really matter if we ever wanted to go to war with these guys. But now, kind of, we kind of, kind of chosen our path here. Maybe well, they're not pacifists, are they? No, they're not. Pa they're they're fanatic militarists. They're just being dicks. Hmm. I don't know why they wouldn't want us to go to war with these guys to subjugate them. We would literally have brought them into the Federation. Oh, maybe it's because our cohesion is down? I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. And hopefully we can vassalize these guys peacefully because... Uh, well, let's see. Let's see the opinion map mode. Opinion map mode. Yeah, these guys are hated by everybody except us. Or they hate everybody except us. And these guys like everybody? Wait, really? Wait, so, like, for example, these guys like these guys? Kind of. What about the Hasbazin? Hmm. I don't think anyone is as friendly as us, but, uh, yeah, these guys, these guys have a positive opinion of everybody. Galactic community member. Closed borders, bigots. Hmm. Oh, everybody likes them. I forgot how the, the map works. So everybody likes them, but, like... I don't know who they like per, per se. Yeah, these guys don't like the Syndicate too much, which is good. And they also don't like the League too much, which is good. Th those are our two main main contenders for vassalizing Systems these guys, so I think we're good. Complete. Oh, that's not what I meant. Let's get back to regular map mode. This is like... Okay, great. Translation software. Oh no, wait. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. This is like actually the worst. The war. Oh my god, they called him a vile beast. No. They were not amused. Wait, which one even is that? The con successor state. Space oh no. Creature encountered. <laughs> They're now neutral with us because of a, s <laughs> a software translation error might actually cost us like. Some galactic complete. power. That's that's never happened to me before. I can say that. So we can't really do much with the Federation, even though we are the president. No trade league. Not even one person would vote for it, and uh, it has to be unanimous. So yeah, we can't do the challenge. We could extend our leadership to forty years, but and then we could change it back to ten years and do random we could do all that stuff but it doesn't really benefit us all that much i mean we could change subjects only to no which is which is good but uh, i think the main thing we want to do here is war declaration majority vote is something we definitely want hopefully that passes okay it did pass and now hopefully since we're all good the these people will uh will vote yes on my war since it's just, yeah, it's just fine. It failed. What? I, I assumed it would pass, but it didn't. Hmm. Huh. Well... Would a war against these guys pass? The crusade of the righteous oh. begins. Okay. A war against those guys would pass. I to subjugate them. Well, our <laughs> our fleets are so far away from that. I kind of didn't expect that to work. I suppose we'll get there. I don't know if we'll even get there in time to uh, fight, but oh, well, that guy definitely didn't get there in time to fight. Uh, Alright, sure, you can be our leader. We need to get these guys psionic, all the rest of the people in our, in our empire. Oh, that was our Minister of Defense too. That was a good guy. Very good leader. 
Oh, we also got this guy, Shroud Walker teacher. So that's cool. All right, so we have arrived pretty much where we need to be before all of our allies, surprisingly. In fact, these Perfect guys have taken engaged. some stations and are bombing a world. Interesting. Well, we're going to put a stop to that. We brought two of our stealth fleets and uh, one of our big boy fleets and... Uh, Special project complete. Oh, we also are entering the shroud. Sure, let's do it. Um, which one is this one? Um, commune with the inevitable. Which one? Let's uh, let's try Situation to commune with it. See which updating. one we get. We need the whispers for our playthrough to be complete. These guys are gonna get crushed. Heretic I fleet hope. Engaged. And they're crushed. Awesome. And these guys will sneak in and take out their star bases complete. as uh, as what's best for them. Spaceborn creature encountered. And I suppose these guys will follow. And just be our fleet our fleet here. Yeah, our our ships wouldn't have done too. Uh, our stealth ships wouldn't have done too much against those guys anyway, considering their uh, considering those were a lot of corvettes, and torpedoes don't do really too good against corvettes. I guess most of our Heretic things aren't torpedoes; engaged. they're missiles. But uh, yeah, okay. So we instantly took that with no casualties. Gotta love our uh, gotta love our stealth cruisers. Construction complete. Or not cruisers, uh, things. Um. Yeah, bring us into compliance, sure. It's not gonna do anything, but uh if it if it means Space so much for that I press that button, then sure. Alright, let's get to here. And cloak as soon as we can. There we are, we're cloaked. And now we'll just go to their home station and destroy it. Or is this their shipyard? This is this is a citadel and this isn't. I suppose we could always destroy both. I suppose. Yeah, let's just destroy both. There's a strange wormhole here. Interesting. Do these guys have the... No, broken rule. Hmm. Interesting. I don't I don't actually know what that is. Maybe it's a rift event. Heretic let's take out the station. Engaged. Gone instantly. Um, Uh-oh, there's a fleet there. And we still didn't lose anything. The apostates are after awesome. our spaceport. We have our very first pirates. Okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm so I'm confused on why these guys were like, okay, yeah, we'll go to war with them, but not these guys. Our rival federation that's similarly pathetic. I, I don't I don't really know. Maybe maybe they're liked by a lot of people? Let's see. Um, yeah, let's see. Oh. Yeah, everyone loves them. Never mind. Yeah, I, I guess I can. I guess I can see why no one wants to go to war with them. Everybody's just in love with them for some reason. That is like the greenest map I've ever seen. Interesting. Everybody hates these guys that, that are around them, but everyone far away likes them. We all know those kind of people, I guess. <laughs> Prospectorium. Oh. Under who? Who are you a prospectorium under? These guys. Oh, the Habonite. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it must feel bad being like an actual original empire that, you know, spawned in the game and getting subjugated by some like guaranteed spawn pop up. Oh, souls here. Uh, how is it looking? I don't see any humans, so that's <laughs> that's unfortunate. Uh, souls not doing too great. But yeah, let's wait until we can cloak again and then go take out their citadel. And now that we've done that, we can also bring our main fleet up and start bombing. And we have lost no ships in this war. Now, I'm sure we also Incoming could have uh, probably just lost no ships with overwhelming firepower and not stealth. But I can't say that stealth didn't work. I mean, it did. Heretic fleet engaged. It did work. Um, sure, reactors are good. Let's go Heretic ahead and get this out engaged. of the way. Yeah. No, stealth is definitely working. <laughs> it's just, the have could, could we have done this wisdom. without stealth? Yes. But did, is stealth working? I gotta say that yes, it, it is in fact working. I will give it that. Will I probably do stealth again? Maybe. 
if the situation calls for it. Oh, we're actually negative in energy credits. That's interesting. Good thing we have a bunch of things to sell. States are after our spaceport. Let's. Heretic station engaged. Let's get these guys cloaked again. Um. Let's just keep this guy president. I, I think it's worth it. Just, just keep him president. Just to not shake up anything. I don't want shake shaken up. Uh, they're cloaked. Okay, let's go in. Council agenda available. Heretic Bam. station engaged. Deleted. Heretic fleet All right. engaged. Well, I think that about does it for that war. Maybe we can also go to war with these guys too, because uh, thirty-one trust. I mean, we're we're most of the way there actually. Most Heretic of the way there. We can't engaged. really do anything with them though. Is is the sad part because. We can't really do like a non-aggression pact because we're in the Federation. We can't really do a research agreement because, yeah, distance. Can't really do a migration treaty because we don't really want migration treaties and uh, obviously no association status. Also no commercial pact because we're criminal heritage. So we're just going to have to keep building up trust very slowly. Maybe there are some other empires in the galaxy we could go to war with. I don't think so though. I mean, we could always... We could always conquer these <laughs> these poor guys. <laughs> I wonder if they would even go for it. Let's see. How how loved are Let's see. How loved are these guys? Hmm, they're not too loved. How loved are even these guys? Oh, they're hated. That's why. That's why they allowed me to go to war with them. Okay. I'm starting to understand galactic politics a little better now, but yeah. I'd say this stealth operation was a success. I don't think we lost a single ship in this war. Hell yeah. Alright, so there's another little empire right here that we could uh, subjugate. We'll see if our Federation members agree. The of the oh, they begins. do. Awesome. And we're in breach of galactic law again. Also awesome. Don't really care too much. Let's activate their cloaking and get in there. Actually, they could have already been in there. Another, another one of the joys of cloaking. Is they actually just could have been in there already. Hmm. Let's get in there and uh, instantly Heretic take out everything that they engaged. have. Awesome. Awesome. We love to see it. And for all those people who <laughs> wanted to see me uh, rank the, the dragon a little bit higher in my tier list, I guess I'll kill the dragon in this playthrough with the stealth fleets. Yeah, I'll do that. See, We'll see how the stealth fleets live up to Leviathans if they do live up to the leviathans at all and yeah wait so if we do Debris if we do that analyzed. will it bomb the planet no it won't okay they should really have it so that it like bombs the planet to, into submission you know and then moves on if you if you queue it like that it's a minor gripe minor gripe with Council the game yeah we're getting a lot of dividends because uh because we did actually get what's it called Lord of War, which mercenary enclaves provide more dividends. I really want the next tier of mercenaries, because we have two mercenaries now because of that. We have these guys who definitely need to merge their ships together, and then these guys, who I assume will be hired soon enough, because everyone in the Federation who doesn't have a mercenary right now is in breach of galactic law because of me and my little campaign here. Data analyzed. Good. Aggressiveness is good. Uh, psionic supremacy, also the good. Spirits have granted us new wisdom. What do we? What, do, what should we do here? A higher purpose might be nice. Who died? Which one was that? A random scientist. Okay. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, the shroud. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is psionic shields. Oh, but it didn't work. One of our stations is beset well, by enemies. Where where is the shroud incursion? The that's that's the encounter. shroud event that gives you psionic shields, which are really good. Not that we really use shields in this playthrough, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I guess we'll see how stealth fleets do against <laughs> a shroud being too. Sure, why not? Oh, did we just decloak? No, we didn't. Okay. Yeah, let's let's go up to it and yeah, we're doing a lot of uh, a lot of cloak testing right now. What, what should we even buy? 
I'm guessing that stuff. All right. Oh, okay. Activate cloaking and get in there. All right, let's do the dragon first. Get right up on that dragon. Do we really want these commanders having the dragon thing? I guess it's fine. Sure. Heretic fleet engaged. Um, let's slow it down, see what's really happening. So they're just swarming it. I'm guessing the next round of missiles will kill it off, yeah. We lost five ships, looks like? Yeah, we lost five ships and the dragon died. Which is uh, pretty good. How much is that overall? A thousand alloys, okay. Hm, that's not bad, that's not bad. And then the dragon slayer. Who got the dragon slayer? I hope it was the more leveled up general. Planetoid. The beast guard is so jealously can now be exploited. Oh, we're not really going to be doing that. We just kind of, uh, we just kind of did it for the, for this, and also the dragon slayer trait, and the ether drake trophy. There's a lot. There's a lot to. A lot of benefit of just killing the dragon and not even taking the system. I will say, I will say. So, okay, the, the higher level guy got the Dragon Slayer, that's good. That is good. He's probably not gonna survive for too long. He's definitely not like, we're not, we're definitely not in a part of the game where our leaders are gonna be immortal or anything. Okay, let's check. All right, they're up on top of it and go. Heretic fleet engaged. How many how many ships do we lose there? Uh, four. Okay. And eight hundred or no nine hundred. So also about a thousand we lost. Would we have lost any with a regular fleet? Probably not. <laughs> but yeah, if like we had a battleship spam fleet, Debris would we have lost analyzed. any? Probably not. But even if we did lose like one battleship, how much is a battleship? How much is one of my battleships? I should say. Um. It's 1,200, so theoretically, if we did lose a battleship, it would have been worse. Just a singular ship, it would have been worse than what we lost there. Um, oh, they're invading. Oh, thank you. We don't have to sit here and bomb that. That's good. Let's get these guys all together. Yeah, let's, let's have actually just our whole military go back and... First of all, let's, let's set them to do that, and then, yeah... Dividends. Do that. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> so far our stealth fleets haven't been completely worthless against bosses. Um, what should we do with the Fang? Monthly society research. No, we, we are going to... Uh, no, we, we, are, we are going to actually display the Fang, that's for sure. We're doing it on our home world, right? Where, where is this? Whole blue sea, yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. Alright, we're in position to attack the Marauders. Not the main base. I don't- I think I can leave the main base there and it'll be just fine because we could use the Marauders for leaders or mercenaries or something. I don't know. I kind of want to leave them. I don't, I don't want to completely destroy them. But I am going to destroy these two systems so that we can expand our empire into the corner over here. Wait. Why does it say these... Who, who owns a mining station there? What? How can anyone even get here? That's strange. Is it mining droids? I don't know. We're about to find out. So we're, we're going to attack these guys. And, uh... Or actually, wait. No, we shouldn't do that just yet. Let's wait until our fleets jump in. We're having our fleets Heretic jump in, and then engaged. we're going to stealth attack these guys. They will never see what's coming. All right, fleet here we go. We're absolutely swarming them, and their flagship's gone. Their station, gone. Their fleet over here is being pancaked, absolutely pancaked. And their last station, gone as well. So let's see the damage. Uh, we lost seven ships and one ship. Okay. Then we lost seven more ships. Okay. So we lost about 15? If I'm doing the quick math correctly. That's not bad. That's not bad. 
Um, yeah, that's not that's not too bad for a mercenary enclave, or not mercenary enclave, a marauder. I don't know. I guess it's not really an enclave. So, 1800, 1300. It's not the best, because probably if we just did battle battleships, we probably would have uh, offers peace. Voron Nation. Sure. I don't care. Do whatever you want. I'm not even in that war. <laughs> um, by the way, our war for the vassal over here, our second vassal, apparently they were all claimed, so we didn't even get a war. I looked at my agreements to put a holding on them, and we still only have these guys, so... Unfortunate. Not that we really needed that vassal. <laughs> like, it was... It was like a one... It was like a couple planet miner, so... Activate cloaking. Okay. Get rid of these two fleets. And get in there to position... The I guess the best position would be... Wisdom. Probably on the other side of the galaxy. And then probably one here. And one in the center. Yeah, that seems like the best best case scenario. And let's have these guys jump in. Spaceborn creature encountered. Heretic station engaged. Alright. Let's get this show on the road here. Alright, I think we're smacking down their fleets pretty hard here. Yeah. Did we did we even take that many losses? Yeah, we kinda did actually. We took more. Hmm. Well, there was definitely more ships in that in that thing, but all right, it worked out. We can now finally expand into over here. And did our stealth fleets <laughs> benefit us any? Um, kinda. I mean, it certainly quickened things. I feel like that little blitz attack we did to them definitely shuttered them down quicker than <laughs> quicker than we could have before. Uh, let's let's reach into the shroud. Increase ship speed, sure. Oh, sublight speed, forty percent. That's really nice. Where's our scientist? We we could, we could use our scientist to actually. Okay, you're leaving that ship. What is the closest ship? Uh, two are there, and one's here. Okay. You, over here, investigating that debris, and everyone else is returning to the station to get upgraded. Wait, these guys need to be upgraded, huh? Alright, let's do that. Alright, so now we'll be able to expand into over here and, uh... Oh yeah, hold on. We, do, we still need to see... Hold on, what, one, of you, one of you guys... You. While stealthed, I need you to go and scout out who is exactly mining these uh, resources. Because that could be important. If, like, some kind of pre-FDL nation... The composer of strands... No, we don't want the Composer of Strands. We want the Whispers. Migration Treaty. No. We want the Whisper. Whispers or bust. Is is what I'm trying to. What I'm trying to say here. Do we have um our construction ships to auto construct? Looks like we do. Yeah. All right. Let's see who's mining this. Wait, were two things mined before? I thought only one. Spaceborn creature encountered. Yeah, I was gonna say if a if a pre FDL empire grew up here and became an Space FDL empire. No, okay, it's just it's just mining droids. All right. Well, you know what? I have a new task for you. Heretic fleet engaged. Our ships have been nice improved. work. Did you lose any ships that time? I don't really know. Let's see. Uh, no, they lost analyzed. no ships. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Not a single Corvette lost. The power of stealth. Yeah, see, like if you definitely if you need to go Corvettes for some Obsession reason, or just complete. want to go Corvettes for some reason, I definitely think the stealth option is best because, uh, well, especially frigates. Not not really Corvettes. Also Corvettes, but definitely frigates. Like if you need to go frigates or or Corvettes as well, you definitely want stealth improved. because, uh, yeah, getting to the enemy would have definitely killed some of our Corvettes there if uh, if it was. I mean, I guess it was a small fleet, but I still think, yeah, it would have killed some of our Corvettes if we weren't stealth. I don't know, I'm trying to find the merit improved. of stealth. I, I think I think it does have some merit, but 
mainly against empires and star bases. I think the way that we've been kind of conducting our wars where we're just uh, sending in our stealth fleet to surprise attack weak fleets and shipyards and having our main fleet go and mop up the rest, I think I think that's the best way to play stealth. I mean, obviously, I think that's the best way to play stealth because that's how I've been doing it. But, I mean, if anybody else has a better strategy, feel free to leave it in the comments or something. But I feel like that's the best strategy, and it works. It, it does work. I'll give them that. When we test out going to war with the Fallen Empire eventually later on in the game, we'll see just how well a surprise attack can work on very powerful enemies. Because, yeah, look, look at this fleet. It's mainly battleships. So... I guess not mainly battleships, but... Actually, no, it's not mainly battleships. Because they have 41 escorts. Hmm. But it has a lot of battleships, so... We will see, we will see. Um, Increase the benefits, sure. Can we resettle people? Is that a thing? We can. Oh, we're even nomadic, some of us. I, uh, I switched the species to assimilate... So most of our pops now are psionic, most of them. I took the four major species in our empire and, yeah, set them to assimilate. I guess we could also assimilate... We could also assimilate the smaller sex of this species, but I guess it's not really worth it. Let's see. Are any of our leaders not psionic? This guy isn't psionic. Why? You should be psionic. You should also be psionic. Why are they not psionic? All of them in our empire are psionic now. Oh no, we're we're still we're still assimilating some. Okay, the process is still Debris still taking place. Ever. I've never seen this before. Reach out to a higher power. I guess that's how you get a new a new one. Um, I've <laughs> I've really never done that before. I guess I've always went with the first covenant I get because this is like a new covenant, right? Um, one that reeks of flesh unbound, one that screams en screams of emptiness insatiable, one that whispers, one that whispers of longing and possession, one that tastes like broken trust. Which one is the whispers? Should I Google it? <laughs> which which one is one whispers longing and possession? Even that says whispers. I don't think this is the whispers. I think this is the um. The one that, uh, yeah, the one that, uh, it, it gives you more, like, material wealth and stuff. Um, one that screams of empty, emptiness insatiable. That's, that's the devourer, right? I mean, I'm just guessing. So one that tastes like broken trust. I mean, I hope it's this. Uh, yeah, let's attempt to... Okay, this is the Whispers of Void. Okay, I guessed it right. No need to look it up. Awesome. Okay, yes. Form a covenant with the Whispers. Yes. As we reach out for the presence, the minds of the telepaths are filled with a chorus of voices. No more soft than the Whispers of the first. The cacophony grows in intensity. A thousand voices speaking in unison. Right. The Master of Puppets, there are so many of them. All join in the chorus of Whispers. They claim to be privy to knowledge. Yes. And they also... They also give us cloaking strength plus one, so now we can be cloaked into the end game. It's nothing we can't handle, yes. And we also got our fleets an upgrade. We got advanced cloaking as well. It doesn't auto upgrade, by the way. Basic cloaking and advanced cloaking are not are not the same component. Kind of like afterburn to see like if I if I turn off uh, obsolete components. Yeah, apparently a basic cloaking field is not an obsolete component, even though like Afterburners 1 is. So it doesn't auto upgrade. So if you ever do a stealth run, just know that you have to you have to go in and manually upgrade your generator. So that's another tip for you, but yeah, the whispers. I think we have our full build now pretty much. Now we just need to uh I'm I, well, I want to subjugate these guys eventually, but uh, the main thing I want to do, the main thing is that I want to uh test our Test our little cloaking fleets on the final frontier. The most dangerous game. The Fallen Empire. So that's the main goal. I also want to test our cloaking fleets on whatever the crisis is going to be. But, uh... Yeah, I suppose I will do that. I, I will I will commit to waiting until the crisis happens. Assuming nothing crazy happens and I don't get destroyed or anything. But, 
I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, theoretically, the Fallen Empire could just absolutely destroy our little Corvette fleet, <laughs> which I feel like the Cloaking Fleets are not gonna do too much against the Fallen Empire fleet, but uh, we, we will see, we will see. We are testing it on everything this run, everything I can. I've tested on the Leviathan, I've tested on uh, early game empires, mid game empires, I'd say, we're down here. I tested them on and uh, we'll definitely test them on, we test them on an Avatar and Fallen Empire and we also test them on Marauders, so yeah, we're really, we're really trying everything this time, cloaking wise. Well, we officially lost these guys as a vassal. They got vassalized by the <laughs> little uh, little empire over here. You know these guys, the Soul X guys. So, yeah, the entire Federation went to war with them. I mean, I didn't send any ships to help, but yeah, they, that's how they did it. Um, maybe we can get the Federation to. Why not? You must be the Federation president. Oh, that's how they did it. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, we're... Oh, we are at President Decides. I didn't even vote on that. Wow. And we're not... We wouldn't even... Wow. Vote weight is... Uh, wow. Okay. Um, Rotation. Wow, why can't we... I can't even... I can't even vote on laws. What what is this nonsense? Incoming transmission. Why can I not even like Mining station propose murdered. this at all? Oh, cause we're at war. Are we at war? I'm not at war. Maybe someone else is at war. I don't even know. Yeah, no, I don't want a migration treaty with you, bro. You're uh, you're making good use out of the Federation. I, I can't say that you're not. What if I what if I just give you everything? Will you be accepting? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, these guys are ready. Okay, so we did get these guys. We did get these guys as a vassal, which is good. Um, these guys... Incoming I guess we could also try improving relations with them. Uh, wait, why is all of our envoys not assigned anything? <gasps> our spy networks, what the hell? What, what What's going on with our spy networks? Is there like a page here where I can manage my spy networks? I don't think so. Alright, what are, what are the biggest empires? There's the syndicates. No one's managing our spy network in the syndicate. Why? Then there's there's these guys. These are a big player here. Somebody's managing that. Um, these guys seem big enough. Sure, we'll get you a spy network. We don't. We've never even had you one. Um, the Shep Golden Church are pretty big. We already have a spy on there. What else were we? I mean, we could also spy on these guys. Yeah, let's do that. Spy on these guys. Yeah, so we lost one of the con vassals, but we got another peacefully. So I guess that's a win overall. I guess I, I don't really know. Have but uh, we are not the step. president anymore, and only the president can Incoming declare war for some reason. I don't know why everyone voted for this. It's crazy, but they won't. Oh, they would vote for that. Interesting. They would vote for. Wait to be diplomatic. I guess that could be good for us. I mean, we're, we're only outvoting the other powerful members of the Federation by a little bit. Uh, apparently these guys are powerful. Oh yeah, these guys are powerful. Okay, that's where our last our last uh, envoy will go, for sure. Xeno Outreach Agency. We don't really need that. We might actually start uh, taking immigration packs because I feel like no, ne never mind. We won't. But we could because we I actually did grab uh, Xeno compatibility for the 20% pop growth. I think it's I think it's worth. And most of our species are psionic, so when they when they inbreed or I guess not inbreed, but interbreed, I guess I should say, we will get, be getting psionic pops hopefully, hopefully. But uh, I don't I don't know if I have any half-breed species yet. Probably not. Probably too early for that. I, I guess I should set these guys to assimilation as well. Um, these guys, there's only a few of them in our empire. It's not really worth. These all set to assimilation. And these all set to assimilation. Bam. There you go. So I think that should cover most of our bases. Unless these guys crossbreed, I think we are good. I think we're good. But we have this vassal. 
they have this vassal, and I think the lines of the galaxy have been drawn. They we have this like little minor federation here, with this pretty weak separatist empire and this late start empire that spawned in a, a an area that was cut off by the federation. They all they all, they did start in Deneb, interestingly. They only they're only one planet and uh, completely pathetic, of course. Proposed subjugation. How close were you to subjugation? Yeah, lack of trust. Minus, yeah, in Federation. Well, a Federation member will never do that. Not with the new system, especially. The new system makes it so that you can't really, uh... Can't really, you can't really, um... Cheese it as much as you could. I mean, you could just do this, and... Even then, they probably still wouldn't accept it, right? <laughs> yeah, even, even... Even with us giving them everything, and just, like, totally... Like... Overlord conflicts, none. Subject conflicts, all. Even then, they still wouldn't do it. Which is kind of ridiculous, actually. You know how much materials they would get every month from, from this deal? Actually, it is a good deal. Especially to be a protectorate, not even a subsidiary. It used to be a little silly, but uh, now I think it's a little silly in the opposite direction. To where, oh, I'm in a federation, so I won't accept you, like quadrupling my economy overnight <laughs> probably even more than quadrupling I gave him like 75% of my stuff so but that's fair that's fair they don't want to give up their sovereignty who would right okay so it seems the Hasbis and Syndicate actually will vote yes on this and I just changed the well I just took made the vote um, diplomatic you know, I voted for it, and everyone else voted for it. So I think this is gonna go through. It it says green. So the Hasbis and Syndicate and the uh, the vassals of it are the Our strongest empires in the game. Improved. So if they say yes, <gasps> okay, strongest. Who's the strongest? <laughs> Hold on. Who? What? What? Diplomatic weight? No, that's not what we want. No. No, we want we want economy or fleets. Oh, okay, they would be willing to vote. Diplomatic weight. Okay, diplomatic weight also works. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Does it? Where are we? Oh, we're at the top. Oh, we don't even need to change it. Yeah, diplomatic weight. Oh, they voted for that. Succession term. Active. What? Wait. Status change, yes. Wait, wh who's, who proposed that? Yes, of course. Yes. Status Our change, yes. Have been improved. Um, oh, I'm the president. <laughs> oh my god. What, th what just happened? Everybody just handed me the keys to the kingdom here. Uh, wow. Just key, uh, absolute king keys to the kingdom. Holy. Kick members. President decides. No, I don't even need that. I think we have everything we want from this. Plus 10% diplomatic weight. Federation influence gain. Envoys. Holy. We don't even have a leader here <laughs> representing us. We should probably do that. That's just disrespectful not having a leader <laughs> there to represent us. We should also have a leader representing us on the, on the galactic community as well. Sure. This guy. Why not? Do we have leaders for all of our major... Yeah, we already have leaders for all of our major stuff, so... Well, we are now the most powerful empire in the galaxy overnight. I don't really know how that happened, if we're being honest. I mean, I changed it to diplomatic weight voting, and I didn't really expect much of it, but I guess it just made us the most powerful empire in the galaxy, so... Yeah, I think I might actually be declaring war against the, the guys soon. We're equivalent, which is interesting. And we have the whole Federation behind us. And the president decides whether we declare war or not. So, yeah. Our allies have three claims on them. So, so these guys will just get claimed immediately if we even go to war with them. What about these guys? Let's see. Declare war, subjugate. Our allies have three claims, yeah. So, I don't think there's really any subject- Oh, wait. Wait a second. I can just do this. 
no one can protest because they already voted that the president decides whether we go to war. Huh. Wait a second, this is actually epic. Okay, I'm gonna get my fleets into position and we are going to be able to, uh, we're gonna be able to test out a late game empire versus stealth fleets. That's what we're gonna be doing. All right. I was I was hoping we'd be able to do that. I, I was actually planning on leaving the Federation and going to war with one of these late game empires, or all of them <laughs> for that matter, just to uh, you know just to make sure I've tested everything in this playthrough. I have truly gone all in on uh, cloaking tech, but yeah, we're we're gonna test everything. I'm gonna get my fleets into position and we're gonna attack these guys. So I just looked at our second Federation fleet, which is weird that we even have a second Federation fleet, and it's all good stealth and I don't I don't I really actually don't get it the game made a a bruiser fleet like a like an actual fleet made for war and you know straight up confrontation and then they made a stealth frigate fleet on top of it and I first of all I didn't even know it was possible for a federation to make two fleets I thought they always wanted to make one fleet and second of all what in this playthrough they kind of copied our style it's it's actually kind of wild how that's worked i i don't i don't truly understand it but uh it's really cool what the are these ships moving okay these ships are moving wisdom. so these ships are in position i guess we can try and uh move on in is there high detection there or something no, I don't think so. Okay, so we're in orbit around their star base here. Where's their capital? Should we take out their capital first? Can we get to their capital? That's the question. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna see. We're gonna see if we can just start by smashing all of their fleets. <gasps> oh no. Sleeper's awake, that's terrible. Oh, okay, it's these guys. Okay. Well that's slightly better, but also really bad. Um, yeah, they're already superior. What about these guys? Are these guys still equal? They're still equal, for the most part. Oof. Fallen Empires are, uh, are really powerful when they awaken. Which makes a lot of sense, but, uh, very scary still. But, um, yeah, we can ignore that stuff for now. Right now we are trying to get in position for our war here. Activate cloaking. And we're gonna try to get here. Let's see. Let's see how much a surprise attack on their capital would really do to these poor guys. I mean, they haven't really done anything to us, so that's why I'm calling them poor guys. Um, it's looking like our fleet Heretic is. Fleet our fleets are. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how much this actually benefits us. I mean, doing a a strike on their like capital immediately which I assume is their shipyard because they have all their ships there and all the of their ships could be good wisdom. but only if uh, only if we win only if we do really well if we don't then we should have probably tried to split them up or something I don't know we'll test it out we'll test it out we'll see complete. we'll see if we can stealth overwhelm these people complete. I mean, the they don't have their fleet have split at all. Maybe I should declare war on them and... This is a very powerful station. Hmm. I actually think I have another strategy. I could declare war on them and then wait for their ships to leave and then attack their home base? Potentially? Because fighting them on top of a 36k star base is not very smart. It's not. It doesn't benefit us at all to do that. Now that I'm thinking about it, I mean it does because like we're kind of ending the war once and for all. But other than that, yeah. All right. Well, let's first and foremost uh, make these guys our subject. Well, let's declare war on them, and then we'll just see what they do. We'll just we'll just see. Um, breach of galactic law. Oh yeah, I forgot to hire my mercenaries. Um, I don't want to be in Beach of Galactic Law for longer than I have to be. Oh, the Hasbazins are doing it. Oh, okay, we can rent this one. Nice. 
Okay. Let's uh yeah, let's send these guys on over. We have our we have both of our mercenary fleets at max, so let's send our fleets into this station. Wow, this is fifty six K station. We might actually need our stealth fleets to uh to carve us a path here. Huh. Thirty thirty eight K versus sixteen K? Our stealth fleets might be our shot here, actually, unironically. Huh. Okay, they aren't moving. Interestingly enough. Maybe we maybe we reevaluate and Okay, we can get there. That's good. So I guess we could just start to try to start carving a path. Oh wait, what's going on here? Oh, they're leaving. Wait, oh, so do we, here's the thing, do we follow them? Or do we take out their home station? That's the question. I think home station is what we were gonna do here. All right, they're gone. Engaged. Let's take out their home station. It's gone. How many days until our stealth comes back? A hundred, interesting. So, that's good. Where did their fleets go, though? That's the question. I mean, if they w if they do come back through the hyper relay, we do want to be there on top of it to make sure that we're fighting it. We have two options here: fight or run. So, um, how many ships did I lose? I don't think any really. Advanced bioreactor. Ooh, interesting. Um, 120. Oh, it looks like we lost three ships overall to that 36k station. So yeah, the stealth actually definitely helped us there. Our ships what I'm have been improved. what I'm gathering from this playthrough really is that like stealth works really well against actual empires, but when it comes to when it comes to like AI or like leviathans or you know random avatars coming from the shroud, it does not help as much. That's kind of what I'm gathering. But yeah, being able to torpedo their down their ship down with only corvettes, <laughs> that which we can build really fast, and then on top of that, only only losing three ships. All is really really beneficial. Heretic station engaged. Oh, I kind of I kind of did it a little a little too early. I jumped the gun there. I wasn't fully on top of them, so we lost some ships. That's my bad. The spirits That's not the stealth spy. That's my bad. Wisdom. Um, habitability immigration. Whole blue C2. Okay, sure. Sounds good to me. Our ships have been improved. Uh, advanced bioreactor. Let's do a citadel of faith. Let's do psionic supremacy. And then what else? We could do evolving society. And then we'll do this. I should have had the game unpaused while I did all that. And then, then our activate cloaking would have been done. Um, looks like here's their ships. Let's get these guys into the same system here. That's our that's our mercenary enclave. We could actually get the mercenary enclave to just go in. So what else is a 36k station? This is also oh that's 50k. Oh, okay. Well we could we could just see how many ships a regular like fleet would lose against 19k. I I assume they're losing a few ships. When we're losing like no ships doing the stealth tactic. We're doing that for science. Let's go in here and attack these guys too. See I'm carving a, pe uh, a way for my actual fleets to come in is what I'm doing here. Um, code breaking. Mm, or let the mushrooms be. Mm -hmm. Well we are kind of like a spy empire so code breaking is good. I don't want authoritarians, but Heretic that's fine. Station engaged. Oh, I did it way too early. Oh no, that's definitely not good. Oh, well, we didn't lose too many, which is good. No, I wouldn't say way too. Well, it was way too early, but it could it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. Oh, okay. How many ships did we lose there? I didn't really see. Did we lose none? Maybe we lost none. I don't know. 
All right, well let's let's descend upon. Well, that's a hundred and thirty-six thousand fleet. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> let's descend upon this fifty-nine thousand fleet, or sh or should we? I don't know if we should. We could just bomb this world. Okay, never mind. I have I have something for our fleets to do, so we don't need to rush that. Heretic station Twenty engaged. days. Let's just start going. Incoming transmission. Cloak up. Incoming transmission. No. An alien empire now speaks um, to us in the language of the divine. Mm, fine. What? Spaceborn what, creature what did encountered. It, see, I wish I it would tell me where her position she just Heretic abandoned was. I, I don't know what spy network that was or what she was doing. So let's reinforce all that. That was only like was not that much. I saw one of them was only 400. Alright, now we can bring in this fleet and have them start bombing their capital. And it's a good enough fleet to fight actual fleets, but uh, they're very strong stations here. You know, not not too great against... Yeah, this is going this is going swimmingly. Actually, I think I think the stealth tech, like, a lot of me saying that it's doing well is like coping, but this time it actually is helping a lot. <laughs> it's actually it's actually doing pretty good. Um, I suppose I'll just keep doing what I'm doing, where I'm, I just take little stations by little stations, and then why is this nation neutral now? Are they not at war? We're not at war anymore. Hmm. Interesting. Subsidiary Spaceborne under creature people encountered. Why? Why are we, why are we at Heretic peace with them and, and not uh, interesting? Um. Wait. How? Wait. Has their entire empire been claimed? Oh no. Wait. Am I not actually gaining these guys as a subject? I mean, I'm still happy I did this war anyway. Because of, like, for the science, but... Are we not gaining these guys as a subject? The, looking at our war goal, it says... 13 planets and 25 systems. <laughs> who who has all these systems claimed? Oh, no. Where's the claim... There's, like, a claim map, I think, right? Neighbor map mode. Claim, claim... This is claimed. This is claimed. Oh my god, their entire empire is claimed by the Habonite. <gasps> what? Their entire empire is claimed by the Habonite. How do you... Except this system. <laughs> Wait, how has the Habonite even done that? Like, they're so far away. It must have cost a million quadrillion dollars. Holy... Oh my god. Wait, so is this their only... Is this their only system that's not claimed by the Habonite? What? Holy hell. That's insane. Well, it looks like we're not actually getting too much out of this war except this, this one... This one planet which I'm bombing into oblivion as a vassal. That's... That's really sad. The spirits have granted us new well. wisdom. <laughs> It's it's a good test anyway. Let's get these guys cloaked and send them in. How much is this station? 25k? I'm pretty sure these guys can take them out just single-handedly, not losing a ship. In fact, yeah, I could probably split up my cloaking fleets and just have them take out their their big big stations. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. Yeah. Um they can go this 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 guy can go this way. And one of our stations pirates, is beset okay. by enemies. Let's see. Station engaged. Yeah, I don't think we lost a ship there. Let's see. We lost one frigate. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. So we can take out their big stations just with our fleet alone. Just with one fleet alone and Yeah, frigate, there we go. Oh, small weapon slot damage, hell yeah. This is the Dragon Slayer, so I'm sure that helped. So yeah, we're just going to keep doing that until their empire is gone. Here we go. 45... 45k 
versus 45k Corvettes versus Space Station. And let's do it. Heretic Station engaged. Mining Station martyred. And we lost no ships. <laughs> Alright, you can't say that's not a little impressive. We lost two ships. Two frigates. How much is that? 500. That might even be less than 500. I don't, I don't actually know if we had more ships lost before then, but I, you just can't say that's not very good. I, I, you know, you could say that the stealth was not very useful in other, in other wars, other battles, but you just can't say it's not very good. An equal, an equal ship of corvettes, an equal fleet of corvettes can, can take out a station like that. And we're bombing their capital too. All under their fleet's nose. It's pretty great, actually. I would say it's pretty great. I am a fan. Now, okay, we can activate cloaking once again and move on to the next one. I think we're going to just go and uh, take out all their fleets and stations and we'll let our allies sort out. I suppose, hold on, this is a 29k fleet. It's moving, it's moving, it's headed our way, right? The no, it's not. Have granted us hmm. new wisdom. So, 8k station, 35k military power. Interesting. I think they're building ships there, it looks the like. Spirits have granted us new so wisdom. let's just see how good... It, yeah, they're definitely building ships there. Battleships, actually. Let's just see how good a surprise attack on a big station and a big fleet, almost as big as us, on top of a 20k station. Heritage let's just see how it does. Engaged. Let's slow it down for dramatic effect. I'm not sure how well this will do, actually. I mean, there's a lot of small ships here. I can counter our small ships and our torpedoes won't be too effective on okay it's looking like we're not targeting the station which is a mistake just of the AI um hmm economic power no I don't I don't need the succession power to change it's not at all what we need so our stealth fleet did not do too well when it came when it came to uh, actually fighting another fleet which is no good, but it seems like it's it targeted all of the small ships instead of the station, which is really unfortunate. Um, is this fleet actually going to attack us? Let's just go and kill it. Yeah. So, oh, the there's there's your stealth tip right there. If there's actually a fleet at the station, you definitely do not want to attack it. <laughs> the station is what you want to kill. Um, now, a fleet on its own. If that fleet was on its own, I do think our, our fleet may have been able to kill it. But, again, our fleet is really, really good at taking Incoming down transmission. big ships. Not really not really small ships. And there was a lot of small ships in that fleet. We killed most of them. But, uh, unfortunately, we should have been targeting the big ships. That's what our Corvettes should have done. We also should have targeted the station, first and foremost. But our ships weren't even shooting at the station, which is really unfortunate. So... Yeah, maybe you'll get luckier with your AI's targeting, but uh, no, that's that's definitely not what we wanted. I suppose we can send these guys in. What what is the station again? Oh, 59k, right? Man, that's uh, oh we actually took this station. Interesting. Um, hmm. I guess we could gather up our remaining two stealth. Oh, let's just. Let's just have them kill their respective Heretic stations station really quickly. Engaged. Okay, all gone. And you? Um, what is this targeting? <laughs> I, okay, sure. Now let's get these guys over to that 59k station and uh, take it out. This should be plenty. Let's get to about Incoming here. Transmission. And then activate stealth again. Station engaged. I don't I don't want to take on this 59k station with our with our regular fleets and lose anything more than a few corvettes. We've already lost a decent amount of ships with that last battle. When are they even coming back? Um uh, two thousand oh sorry, two Heretic years, yeah. Engaged. They're not they're not gonna be back in this war, unfortunately. How's the Fallen Empire looking? Oh my god. Man, that's a lot of fleets. 
Is that 400,000? Yeah, it is 400,000. Yeesh. Heretic station Yeesh. engaged. No, I didn't really want you to do that. But, uh, sure. Alright, now that you're both stealth, right? Let's get you, let's get you here. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, interesting. No, never mind. I, I think our allies have finally arrived to the show. Well, we might as well join them. Um, Whispers of Void have relinquished a fraction of their energy into a shroud. Should we do a commander? Or a scientist? I guess a commander. Um, what are those two commanders? Eshart. No, that's not the one. What about Habal? No. Azuzumuzan. They are a shroud touched commander with mercenary warrior psychic and aggressiveness. Wait a second, hold on. I could that guy could be a very good chosen one. I think this is a chosen one, right? Conclave will allow us to safely absorb and wield this power. Okay. And then what is our other Drocht Oak Bet? Okay, what are what who is Drocht Obet? You. You're decent, but nothing like uh nothing like this guy. Yeah, no. Alright, we'll do the commander. Ascended. Okay, so he's immortal now. Excellent. An immortal shroud touched commander. That's really nice. And uh, looks like our allies lost, but we'll be mopping this up just fine. Yeah, just fine. How many ships did we lose? A few. Oh, we didn't lose any. The, the, just the mercenaries did. We'll rebuild them. All right. Well, I'd say this war is uh, just about won. <laughs> now that all of our enemies are kind of defeated, our our allies will come in and sweep up the rest. Let's get rid of the station engaged. once and for all. Goodbye, shipyard. And goodbye, empire. Heretic. So the war is over, and uh, the civilian, civilian Galactic League has seemed to have uh, got most of, most of this, which is a prospectorium under the uh, Habonite United Worlds, which isn't good, as they just left our Federation. So. So yeah, uh, which pretty much divides the galaxy in two at this point because the <laughs> these little uh, these little guys in uh, not soul oh love colonized soul hmm. interesting no uh, wh where is their home world where, where is their home world here yeah yeah here it is uh, they have really built up their own little empire here and uh, I feel like we should probably just go to war with them I mean, we can't yet because they just left the Federation, but I just don't... I mean, this much of a divide in the galaxy when we were just almost pretty much all united except these guys who are locked behind Fallen Empire here. So that's really unfortunate. Uh, now we're losing Federation XP. It's not good that they left the Federation because we have pretty much full control over it. So, yeah. Does anyone complete. have claims on them? Uh, who are we offering association to? Okay, complete. sure. Wow, lots of things are happening. But, uh, yeah. Also, we have our little one planet... <laughs> Wait, where... Where's our one planet vassal? Yeah, here they are. What's left of their empire here? I think I'm building... Yeah, I'm building a Ministry of Truth on there, so... Yeah, there's the bright news. I'm basically just building up my ships, upgrading them, reinforcing my fleets until I can go and take on the Fallen Empire. And then I'll either go to war with these guys if I feel like I care too much, or I'll just wait until the end game and fight the crisis with our cloaked fleets and call it a day, potentially. So here is the first official test. I'd want to invade these guys soon, even though they're still equivalent. I, uh, I'm basically just held back by my my shipyards at this point. In fact, I should probably make another shipyard. Hmm. But anyway, we are testing whether this exceptional grade 4, which is, I think, one away from the max it can possibly be, 
whether we can actually get into this Fallen Empire's territory or not with this exceptional grade 4. I'm, I don't think we're going to get much better than that. Unless we get Psy Cloaking soon. Okay, so we can. We are in the Fallen Empire's territory and they have no idea. Huh. Well, there you go. Eventually, you can, with this build, or with, you know, cloaking in general, mm -hmm. you can sneak attack the Fallen Empire. Interesting. Now, I'm not sure we should do that, <laughs> but... How much do, how much cloaked fleets do we have overall? This is not a cloaked fleet. This is not a cloaked fleet. So this one is 79k. This one is that's another uh, 70k. 70k. And yeah, that's about it. So we have best on on our best day, we have like a 300,000 cloaked fleet strength and that is not nearly enough to take out these ships maybe if they were like all battleships or something but there's a lot of destroyers here a lot of escorts I guess you could say but you know they're size 2 ships so our torpedoes won't be melting them as much as we would really want I do plan on building these fleets up even more soon enough and uh, maybe build some more fleets as well I mean we're way over our naval capacity but we are we're certainly trying we are trying to get more naval capacity. How many soldiers are on this world? 19, which is good. We are we have a lot more soldiers than we used to. Now, we're pretty decently good on energy credits and alloys for the most part, but if we moved all of these ships out and we started moving around, yeah, we would definitely be pretty high in the negatives. So, yeah, moral of the story, we can sneak into their territory, but we're not quite ready yet. Our Not quite ready for war. Improved. Let's see what the shroud has to say. Uh, happiness? <laughs> <sighs> Why do I even try? Well, the game is over. <laughs> Apparently, I did not expect that. And uh, the the Hazasan won, and they won by what, like seventy points? Yeah, exactly seventy points. <laughs> they won by 70 points over us, which is uh, interesting. Economy, we're beating them. Fleet power, we're definitely beating them. Research, we're beating them. I guess they have, like, relics or something? I don't really know, but... Yeah, they beat us by 70 points, so... I guess... Good job. <laughs> uh, I guess the crisis is just not... <laughs> is not coming along. I have jump drives on all of my ships... And, uh, well, I guess not all of them. Oh, okay. I guess not on the Federation fleets. But on my actual ships, like my actual fleets, I have jump drives. So, dangerous technology is researched. The end year has been plenty of time. <laughs> plenty of time for that by now. I guess we're just not getting a crisis, which is fine. I kind of just want to go to war with these guys and see how we do. Just going to spend the rest of my economy building up more stealth fleets. I'm currently building up this stealth fleet, which is going to be another another good one. Uh, my stealth fleets have in fact gotten to uh, gotten to 100k each at this point because I turned on all of the uh, turned on all of the the boosts to all of our important stuff. So, yeah, definitely if you're in the end game, you want to turn on these boosts if you don't already. So, let's see. You can be an admiral, sure. Let's see what they want. No. But, uh, yeah, so... The end is near. Just need to... Need to finish up some, some chores, and then we'll go and surprise attack these... Fallen Empire... Clowns. I think this might be the best deal in the history of ever. They're giving us 28,000 alloys... For 2,000 volatile moats, basically, and 10,000 minerals, which is, is nothing. I'll throw in an extra 12... Oh, they, they take more. Yeah, take take 12,000, sure. I have 108,000, and I've been selling them for pennies. There you go. I wonder if these guys are also willing to give us alloys. Are you willing to give us alloys? Yes. You're willing to give us 15,000... 
How do you like consumer goods? You don't. How do you like minerals? Oh, you like minerals, do you? Oh. Yeah, here. Here, bro. Oh. I guess that's uh, that's their cap. How do you like food? Oh, yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that deal. Oh. And here's the contingency. Incoming transmission. <laughs> yeah, we got the contingency, so... Uh, I I uh, hope it doesn't spawn in too inconvenient of a location. Yeah, now that we got four thousand, no, we're we're not interested. Now that we got, f yeah, forty thousand, we can uh, definitely. Okay, where is it? Situation log updated. Um, there. I don't care at all. Good. Um, yeah, tow it in for disposal, sure. Uh oh. Appears the shroud is giving a moment of gal galactic crisis is at hand. Finish to show the coming threat. Rather than be destroyed, we impart on a final lesson. Oh, so they're just they're just abandoning us. That's all right. May the shroud embrace you. Then <laughs> we need the influence. Basically, what I'm waiting for now is uh, oh, I was waiting for that. Interesting. I should also probably wait for the uh, machine worlds to all spawn to make sure that. That, yeah, they're not in our territory. Nope, that one's Situation fine. Situation log updated. Yeah, now we can claim all of their worlds. By the way, if you don't our know, you can't really claim uh, fallen empires, but you can if you go to declare war and then claim. I'm pretty sure you can also do that if you just press. Oh, out of my way. Also, if you uh, yeah go to claims, you can just claim them. So. Yeah. Don't know why it doesn't let you claim them from the diplomatic menu. Okay, very far away. What what is the crisis anyway? Let's see. Incoming transmission. Uh, two hundred thousand. Oh yeah, should be fine. What are, what are these crisis ships actually? Okay, here. Um. Oh, hello. Hello. Wow, this is uh, this is right smack dab in the middle of our empire. This is between. Our uh, our fortress station <laughs> and our our uh, you know main station here. Yeah, hopefully that is the, the last one. So oh, let's updated. pause. Let's make sure there nothing silly happens. Um, let's take all of our cloaked fleets and get in there. And uh, I guess we're doing a <laughs> a test on the crisis sooner than I thought. Um. Oh, yeah, we just need to get in there with everything, I think, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just get in there with everything. We we need to... We need them to not destroy our fortress. Um, actually, wait. We could always do this. It's a deal. And now we have this fleet defending our fortress. Oh, yeah. Uh, fellow sapiens, this is an exceedingly dark time. The exceptional threat we face is without precedent. Uh, join us as we strike back against the contingency. Sure. Heretic station engaged. Okay. Evading heretics. And yeah, we're already on top of their main fleet, so let's just uh, start engaging. Uh, let's let's just set you to engage too. All right. So they're per they're currently getting absolutely surrounded here. These ones aren't, but uh, these guys have gotten absolutely surrounded and ganked because uh, our stealth fleets went behind them, which is pretty good. I don't know how many losses we're really taking, but we are significantly overwhelming the enemy. So I can't pretend like uh, I can't pretend like this was some kind of fair fight. Ooh, we lost a lot of ships, a lot of frigates. I didn't expect our uh, our stealth fleets to do too well against these guys, to be honest. Oh, Ninety-four thousand. Wow, we are uh, we are we are in trouble here <laughs> a little bit. Um, it looks like the fallen empire is gonna have to wait a tad longer, a tad longer. <laughs> let's get these guys. Uh, well, let's get most of them back to uh, where they belong and we'll just get the we'll just get these mercenaries to Heretic bomb this planet engaged. that should be fine 
Research agreement, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't care, no, no. Well, we won. So, it's not like the stealth fleets were totally useless. <laughs> it's just, you know, they're not meant for, uh... They're not meant for battles like that. I think, I think as we've established in this game, stealth fleets are pretty Heretic good against engaged. empires in general. Heretic station engaged. Uh, what, what heretic fleet? Oh, our, why is our frigates over here? What the? Oh, wait, people building federation fleets? Oh yeah, I forgot these guys are part of my heretic federation. They're kind of destroying our federation, huh? It's not really what I want, but, uh, you know, at this point in the playthrough, we've already lost the game by 70 points, and we're just testing things, so I don't think it matters too much. <laughs> sure. Renowned scientist died. Oh, so sad. But yeah, these guys are just gonna bomb this, and, uh... We're just gonna keep preparing for this war. We said we got set back a little bit. I bet these guys are really kicking themselves for not uh, for for selling all of their alloys. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that definitely helped. As now we need even more alloys to prepare fully for our fallen empire assault. Well, we're on our final approach. Oh, um, yes, we no, we need we need that fleet again, sir. Yeah, for sure. Where is the fleet? This one. Yeah. Okay, no. We need uh, we need all hands on deck for this. No, no, no. Where are you going? So, we have all of our stealth fleets in and in position, I think. Incoming transmission. I guess I'll send them here. We definitely don't want to engage them in this system. The um, the fallen empire when we uh no, definitely don't want that deal. Yeah. So we definitely don't want to engage them in that system. We want to we want to use these fleets to bait the fallen empire into uh, moving their main fleets to attack, and of course that's when we will attack them. See, because we're going to try to do this like we how how we would a normal empire, but uh, just with a much much bigger fleet. I don't know how well that's going to work, but yeah, we're going to use these fleets to come in from the border and uh, distract while our our guys here maybe take out the shipyard or potentially just stealth attack the fleets while they're not next to a station. I don't know. It depends on if the fleet splits up or not. But uh, yeah, wait. Oh, this fleet is cloakable. We'll get in there. Wait, which, are all these fleets not cloakable for sure? Gotta make sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, we gotta wait for this guy to get in there. And then I think we're ready. Let's go ahead and, uh... Do we have their whole empire claimed? Yeah, I think we do there. Yep. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Um... No. We, we will not be bullied. We are about to bully you, in fact. Alright, we are in position. We have our Federation cloaked fleet and all the other cloaked fleets. We have one fleet that's, uh, yeah, that's max cloaking. Exceptional grade 5, so there you go. Check that off the bucket list for, uh, <laughs> for stealth, stealth gameplay. Alright, there we go. Begins. Prepare for budget cuts, whispers Coven. Mm, mm, I don't think so. And they're moving. They're moving their entire fleet. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I guess we could... Let's just follow them and, and see where they go. Oh, a commander died. That's not good. Hopefully it wasn't one of our really good ones. We have some really good commanders. Um, yeah, we have this one who's gunship level 3. Small shot... Uh, small slot weapon fire rate plus 25%. So, yeah, that's going to be really good. Um, let's get another commander. Oh, we have two commander slots open. Okay, well, you, you're a psychic. Uh, prudent, sure. And then let's get a commander on one of our bigger fleets here, too. Why not? Um, you seem good. Welcome aboard. Oh, what happened? Oh, no. No, don't. Oh, wait. Yeah, oh, wait. 
they um Hmm. Can we catch them before they go in? Because we can't. <gasps> they left one of their fleets here. Perfect. All right, let's get them. Heretic fleet engaged. Yeah. Excellent. And they're getting melted. And their station is melted. Absolutely excellent. Where's their main fleet? I don't know. Now we just gotta wait until we can get cloaked again. Wait, they went through a wormhole, yeah. Where did they even go? Are they after one of our Federation members or something? Alright, let's get in there. Excellent, so there we go. We picked off their fleet because they split. For a split second, we were waiting. We were waiting for that split second of, uh... Of opportunity, engaged. and we got it. I just realized we should probably have an army to army down these worlds. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, better late than never. We have this army builder, so... Sure. We'll just try it out. Um... Do we just do another army builder? I mean, I don't really know what the army builder does. If we're being honest. Plague Baron, no. I kind of want... You know what? Alright, fine. Doesn't really matter. There you go. Army builder. We're, we're army building. Sure. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Alright. And we've taken their station here. Incoming wonder how long it would take us just to bomb down one of their worlds. Would it take us that long? Uh, who died? Our master crafter? Alright. Uh, sure, you're the new master crafter. Enjoy. Alright, let's get all these ships stealthed up again. And I guess we're gonna go take their capital. I would call that a definite success with the stealth technology because we... We took a Fallen Empire fleet and basically cut it in... Not half, but like... Oh wait, are these guys not surrendering? They're not, are they? Alright, well, uh, where's our armies? Need to get an army over here. And let's get rid of their main station here. I think we got distracted a lot when it came to, uh, I don't know, the transport fleets. I don't, did we target transport fleets first? I don't know. What did we, what did we target there? Um, yeah, it must have been transport fleets because we didn't. I didn't see our uh, missiles go for a while there. That that was a that was a devastating fight. Against the station, no less. Interesting. Yeah, I don't I don't really understand what happened there. They just focused on the transport fleet instead of the the station with their torpedoes. That wasn't very smart. But uh, yeah, I think I think it goes to without saying that we probably we win this war. Our just our you know regular fleet. <laughs> with our Federation fleet and our mercenary fleet. Our Federation and mercenary fleet alone would smash the Fallen Empire fleet. Especially if we decided to take, uh, we never took, we never took, uh, what is it? Mm, Galactic Contender. We never took that anyway. So that was all without Galactic con Contender. So I think, I think it's safe to say that we would win this war. So yeah, we took some heavy losses here, but uh, they're pretty easy to rebuild, if, especially if we had like a great economy. When I was rebuilding all my fleets from destroying the crisis, we you could pretty much pump out swarms as fast as I had alloys with only two stations, two shipbuilding stations. So yeah, I would say the stealth play style has been fairly successful. I mean, we snuck up on the Fallen Empire and smashed their fleet in two just without them even being able to uh, regroup or really fight back from a distance at all or anything. We just kind of went up and smashed them. I and we had a little bit of trouble at this station, but it doesn't really matter. I, I don't feel like playing out the rest of this war because, hey, 
th- these two fleets alone, our Federation and Mercenary Fleet, would uh, crush the rest of the Fallen Empire easily. I don't even know where their fleet is, to be honest. So, yeah, I would call that a success. If you enjoyed my stealthy little playthrough here, please subscribe. It's free. And uh, more subscribers means uh, I could have ad revenue. Imagine that. So, yeah, feel free to leave a comment, like the video, do whatever. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.